ghost. I think new ghost. I think we're I think we're onto a new ghost. Pro maybe bees. I don't know. Possibly. Probably. Also, my microphone is like forever away from me. I don't know if that makes any difference to you guys, but it was very, very far away. Hold on a second. Come closer. Come closer, microphone. Possibly. There is a there is a possibility that there will be more bees. <laughs> the bees miss you too. Let's be real. The bees will always miss you. Hello, friends. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing other than having a deficit of bees in your life? <laughs> Shimia was pretty fantastic, let's be real. Oh, party god. There were no bees in Hot Fuzz, but there was geese? Swan. It was a swan. It's basically a goose. <laughs> um, so, you know... You can't, you can't, it can't be all bees all the time. Sometimes you gotta shake it up and throw a swan in there. <laughs> they're close enough. They're loud and they're angry and they scream a lot. <laughs> I just wish swans were geese. I love geese. I mean, absolutely I wouldn't win against a swan. I also wouldn't win against a goose. I've never seen a goose and a swan in the same in the same room at the same time. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, hey friends, how's it going? More Deathmark tonight. I'm excited. It's been a minute. <laughs> I you no no fruity. I have been attacked by a goose. Geese are I I wouldn't fuck with a goose. I I don't fuck with geese. Um geese are terrifying and you will never catch me near one because they're awful all right well see here <laughs> you can't say they got nothing then if you've been attacked by a goose <laughs> fucking geese man they're awful <laughs> they were they let you off with a warning Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I don't believe this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> more death mark tonight. It's gonna be great. I'm excited about it. Um, yeah. All I remember is that the last time we played, we were dealing with that whole Miss Zoo bullshit, uh, which I definitely had to play through again this morning. <laughs> Uh, cause my game didn't save, and there was a lot of dialogue that we didn't get through. Um, so I had to do that again this morning. That was great. That was fantastic. If I never have to look at that lady again, it will be too soon. <laughs> great, though. We got this. It'll be fine. Um... So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I remembered properly as to what the next, uh, <laughs> the next ghost is, but I don't know that I have. So let's get this capture card working. Hey, capture card, capture the card. There we go. Um, yeah, so Miss Zoo was a thing. And it was awful. Um, speaking of terrible geese, <laughs> ostrich strong. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have much in in the way of updating or recapping. I guess Miss Zoo was a thing, and it was terrible, but we got through it. I think this is immediately after they've left the school. Um. Yeah, and I guess we'll figure out what's going on. It's been long enough that I have no idea what's happening. I think... Fucking tests, man. <laughs> Those wild-ass tests. Um, 
I guess before we like fully jump in, I am thinking of swapping some games around as far as our schedule is concerned. I think we should have this game done maybe by next weekend. Um, which would be fantastic because then we can move on to a different game. But I might move Bloodborne to be a weekend game because um, it's going to take us a while to get through it, I, I realize. I knew... I knew beforehand, but I got overzealous and was like, man, we got this, and we definitely do not. So, Bloodborne might be uh, a weekend game after we finish Death Marks. We might be putting that on hold for a little bit. I'm trying to figure out when to do the cosplay stream, and also trying to figure out what games to do in between. I've got a lot of options right now, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> gonna be great um but i guess we'll just hop on hop on in start doing the reading thing that we do on saturdays because it is saturday had to think about that for a second <laughs> well good i'm glad you're here for whatever because you're gonna get whatever that's just that's just how it works what can i say no um <laughs> it'll be fine We'll figure, well, yeah, I'll figure it all out and should have it, like, sorted out by the end of the weekend. Um, at this point, the only thing that's going to put the cosplay stream on hold is my ability to get hair dye. Um, I'm, I'm glad that people are enjoying the Bloodborne. I'm still really enjoying it as well. Um, I just need to level up a little bit more. But also, I'm finding that, like, having a day between um, my Bloodborne playing is difficult <laughs> um, just because it's like it's one of those games where I have to like keep playing it like constantly to remember how I'm doing um, and so if I move Bloodborne to the weekends I'll just be able to play it for like two days in a row and then kind of prep myself on Fridays as well as Saturday morning to uh, don't don't continue on stop <laughs> um, to play it plus since it is a longer series it'll be nice to kind of just have that be a chill, chill quote unquote weekend game um no i'm still enjoying it and i'm glad that you guys are liking it so we'll just move the schedule around a little bit to accommodate for it a bit more um but we'll keep doing it i'm determined to get through it i need to i need to actually officially beat bloodborne since i haven't <laughs> But yeah, um, so Deathmark, <laughs> we're never actually going to start this game, we're just going to talk about everything else in between. Um, no, so Deathmark, we got, we beat Miss Zoo, we showed back up at the, at the mansion. I know we had started talking about whatever a hero was doing there, but I don't think we finished it, so we're just restarting that whole conversation, so we should get the recap doing that. Oh, welcome back! <laughs> I believe I must thank you. My mark has indeed vanished. I need to move my drinks because I cannot see. Um, I still have mine though. I, I mean, not that I believe that it's going to kill me or anything. It doesn't bother me at all. Of course not. <laughs> I can see that you're unbothered. Um, she talks tough, but the whole time she's clenching her teeth. More importantly, Mr. Koss, did Zukawa have anything on her? Oh, right, we got that map, didn't we? You mean this? Pull the old map out of my bag. Yes, that's it. It's an important family heirloom. <laughs> Absolutely unbothered. Minding her own business. Has no care in the world. It's all good. It's not. It's not good. I'm here to tell you it's not good. <laughs> also, this map is a family heirloom? Hiro snatches the map out of my hand without even so much as a thank you. Rude. Oh, hmm. I guess you deserve a reward. I have this instead. She takes a purple notebook from her coat. Color's different, but the design matches the red notebook we found in the shelter. It's Zukawa's diary. It was in her room. It looks like she was still sane when she wrote in it. Debatable. I take the notebook from her. Seems Miss Zhu was interested in that map of yours, Miss Hiru. Could you tell us more about it? No. Oh! 
No. <laughs> Basically just a treasure map. Okay, so when you say no, you can't tell us more about it. You mean you're gonna tell us more about it. Well, now I want to know even more. We should have taken a look earlier. It's facts. <laughs> we should have. The clock begins to chime. It's almost dawn. Everyone should go get some sleep. You can use any room on the second floor. Thank you. That would be lovely. Also, I, uh, I and Yusoka, you must leave the mansion tomorrow. There's no need for you to stay here now that your mark is gone. <gasps> All right! Mary got smashed! I was like, why the fuck are we telling these kids this information? Because, because Mary got smushed! She got shattered? That's kind of a big piece of important information that I completely forgot about. <laughs> Oops! All right. <laughs> this is fine. Oh dear. Are you telling me to leave you and Miss Haru by here by yourselves? Please don't joke. So I specifically requested my assistance. Mary did fall to pieces. <laughs> oh. I'm grateful, really, but those who have escaped the mark should return to their normal lives. That's the dying wish of uh, Sayakujo and Mary's as well. But, Yusoka, I'd like you to help out another way. I'm sure you know other people in the supernatural phenomenon field. Can you research the mark with your knowledge and connections? An investigation like that is beyond me. I know practically zero about spirits. This is the only thing I can think of. If Mary was still here, it'd be different, but... Yusoka stares at me silently. I stare right back into her eyes, not turning away. <sighs> Fine. Uh, I guess, sigh. <laughs> Fine. I'll leave the legwork to the young. I'll do what I can help. Besides, if I stayed behind, I'm sure Miss I would want to as well. I'm counting on you. Oh, I's gotta go away. Of course, I won't let you down. Her voice and posture exude confidence and reliability. I'm sure it's a good part of why she's so successful as a fortune teller. However, I shall rest for today. These old bones are exhausted. Good night. Good night, vampire lady. I love you. Mr. Cost, are you sure you'll be okay without me and Madame Yusoka? Yeah, I've survived this long. I'll manage somehow. Unease is bubbling up within me, but I push it down and force a smile. Can't let her worry about me. Okay, I'll trust you then. But you better promise me. When your mark is gone, you'll come to one of my concerts. Promise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you better. Better I? <laughs> Alright, I'm heading up. Good night, Mr. Cost. Good night. I, lo I love I so much. She's precious. <laughs> Jeez. So you're saying I have to stay? Not that I care. You seem to care an awful lot for someone who constantly says they don't care. Um, I thought you didn't believe in the Mark's curse because it's unscientific. Of course! There's no way in hell I'd believe something like that. But it's, it's also true that I haven't found solid proof to deny it either. And uh, Miss Yukoka? You mean Yusoka? And Miss Eyes Marks really did up and disappear. Wow, there are a lot of spelling errors in this. In this section right here. Ma'am? So I've decided to stay here and see how this plays out. That's all. It's the truth. I can see she's desperately trying to hide that she's terrified of the supernatural. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> I think it's just, I think it's the guides that aren't well translated. <laughs> the guides seem to be the biggest issue. Um, I owe you for saving me, so I'll tell you a bit about it. It could be related to the mark somehow, too. Are you talking about the map? Yeah. Well, I guess, no, we did have those translation issues with some of the, like, the eye thing. Don't mention anything with eyes. <laughs> that was kind of garbage. 
Um, it's of an underground shelter in each city. Hey, we found that! <laughs> the only way Zukawa found that shelter was because of this map. Not sure why she'd be eager for an old map of facilities that have to be 50 years old. That's a secret. It's just... It's possible that whatever turns Zukawa into a monster is down there in that shelter. Oh, really? Oh, really? What? What do you mean? Isn't there that, that homeless dude down there? <laughs> Isn't he just chilling down there? I've already told you that I have no intention of giving you any details. I'm tired too, so I'm going to bed. Okay, good night. Hero makes her way upstairs to the rooms. The end of our last conversation swirls around in my head. The shelter, army, Zukawa transforming, and the deja vu I felt down in the shelter. What does it all mean? It's no use. My brain is so tired that words are just repeating nonsensically over my over and over. I can't get my thoughts in order. May as well go to bed for today. The road to madness. <laughs> okay, let's save. First and foremost. Fantastic. And let's carry on. We gotta figure out who we're gonna hang out with. Well, no, I guess we only have the one option right now, don't we? Mary isn't here anymore. Should I rest for today? Rest. I decide to rest now. Completed. Thank God. <laughs> Too much Miss Zoo. Hello? <laughs> Shit's getting knocked over over there. Okay. It's been nearly a day since we found Mary. We're like a boat adrift on the ocean without a compass to guide us. Who knows where the currents will take us? Will we find salvation at the end? Probably not. Let's be real! <laughs> hey, Mr. Frost. Looks like we wasted a whole day. Is it gonna be like this every day? If you're done checking in here, why don't we take a look outside? Mary said unnecessary contact with outsiders could speed up the Mark's curse. And if I lose any more of my memories, I'm not sure I'll be able to function. For the past ten days, the only other person I've spoken to is the convenience store clerk. That explains why we've only had TV dinners and snack food to eat. She's so nitpicky about everything. <laughs> but sitting and waiting isn't going to accomplish anything. I'd rather not wind up forgetting my own name like you. Not that I completely believe that this curse thing is real. She raises her voice to hide how it shakes. Is it you? Are you knocking things over? Yeah. Okay. She's still stubbornly sticking to her denial of the existence of spirits and the mark. But I know she's already accepted it. After all, she went through it herself last night. Ghosts and curses don't exist. Why'd this have to happen to me? Hello? <gasps> Hiru is startled at the sound of the knock. A visitor in the middle of the night. I don't need Mary to know it's a mark bearer. Who is it? Sorry to impose on you so late. Oh, it's this boy! <laughs> a tall, thin man walks in. His skin is as white as a sheet and dark circles nearly swallow his eyes. It's almost like a dead person stands before us. You're a costume hero, alright? I heard about you and the Mark from Yusoka before I came here. Something about a Miss Zoo, too? Sounds like he had a rough night. He seems to know Yusoka. Right? It's a zombie buddy! We had we had Vampire Lady, and now we have Zombie Man. <laughs> Look now. Not every doctor has to have a tie, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, so our name is Vincenzo Cost. Remember that good, good gag we had? Remember that very funny pun we made? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, maybe she's following through on her promise and sent him to help us. Well, let's get introductions done. I'm Shuji Daemon. I think you can guess my occupation. 
Is it being a demon? Because what the fuck's up with that name, my dude? Wearing this thing means I don't have to explain, thank goodness. That'd be for me! <laughs> we all know he's got a stethoscope, therefore he's a doctor. Even he knows this. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, he gestures to the stethoscope around his neck. What kind of business brings a doctor like you here? Damon's eyes flicker over the suspicious, uh, at the suspicion in Hero's tone. No need to be so defensive. I have the cursed scar, same as you. The mark. He unbuttons his shirt to to reveal even more. He unbuttons it even more because it's already already pretty open familiar mark on the left side of his chest he just suddenly appeared one day that face <laughs> though to be honest I never thought it'd happen to me maybe it's punishment for being stupidly curious about it curious did you know about the mark before Yusoka told you about it yeah that's right this mention of a strange scar in my grandpa's records is a military position I did some personal research military physician uh a military physician's records would mean they'd be from the second world war dr hot body <laughs> dr McSteen. it's the <laughs> do you remember that monster factory episode of dr sex gun <laughs> it's, got... it's, a, it's a good one it's a it's a good monster factory episode <laughs> uh, more than 50 years ago. <laughs> but that doesn't add up. Rumors of the mark only started about a month ago now. If it was mentioned in those records, the rumors would be much older. And there's a reason for that. Patients with the symptoms were kept in a secret army laboratory. After the war, all the top secret documents related to the lab were burned. Except the clinical records I found. Secret lab, huh? That's kind of hard to believe. Vincenzo. Dr. Damon, you don't mean to say the mark was used as some sort of biological weapon? More like a spiritual weapon, honestly. <laughs> Every country had at least one or two soldiers who were divinely possessed. People only call on gods when they're in trouble. It was the end of the war, and they were backed in a corner. How unsci unscientific. Don't you think so, Mr. Cost? yet I guess so <laughs> seem pretty calm about this it, maybe your cautiousness is what has kept you alive this long however it's hard to picture the mark being used as a weapon seems the 13th army engineering lab was developing something it was called the cannon soldier cannon soldier that makes me think of the uh body s body s Sattva cannon? 50 years ago, and the Buddha statues can't be. Dr. Damon, where is this lab? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Sorry. The documents my grandfather kept didn't, don't go, give any details about it. I see. Hey, Mr. Cost? That 13th Army Engineering Lab? It's the shelter Zukawa went to. She pulls out her old map. <gasps> Treasure? I'd wanted to keep it secret, but as I'd rather not die from this mark, I'll tell you. This shows the entrance to the 13th Army Engineering Lab. Whoa, are you serious? <laughs> you alright, bud? In his excitement, he starts coughing. M my apologies. Where did you get that, Hiro? My grandfather passed six months ago. We were sorting his belongings. Isn't the idea of a secret lab just fascinating? So I thought I'd look into it. And then Miss Su Zukawa stole it. I accidentally let it slip to her. She loved strange experiments like that, so it probably stuck with her. Where it is? There it is. I thought as much, though. Whatever turned her into a monster is down in that secret lab. That sounds fairly unscientific, if you ask me. Just saying. 
<laughs> God damn it. It's a pretty unscientific line of reasoning. Y using the occult to turn yourself into a monster is utter nonsense. But if there's a scientific method behind it, I'll have to consider it. I suppose that's just how she is. Was your grandfather involved with the lab in some way, Hiro? Hmm. He could have been. All I know is he was an engineer with the rank of captain. Wait, hold on. You're both grandchildren of people involved with the engineering lab? And now both of you have the mark. Yes, that would be correct. That and our lab coats are probably all Hiro and I have in common. From what we understand, people with the mark appeared in the secret lab 50 years ago. There might be something there that'll help us find the truth behind the curse. That's also the origin of the Cannon Soldier. A name that reminds me of a statue. The traces of Miss Zhu in the soldier or in the shelter. It might all be connected to the Buddha statues that were stolen from each shrine. Engineer with a rank of captain means nothing to me. I don't know how high, how high captain is. I don't think it's I it's fairly high up there. Like it's I think captain's higher than lieutenant. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Quick, someone look it up. <laughs> Military ranks. Where does Captain fall in there? <laughs> um. Captain means he's on a boat. All right. Listen here. <laughs> he's a. He's a. He's a. Mar he's a marine doctor. You know, one of those seamen? <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop now. <laughs> uh, Dr. Damon gave us a lot of info. We'll have to thank you, Soka, for introducing him to us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the fates are indeed mysterious. Dr. Damon, will you help us? Yes, of course. Just don't expect anything physical. Are you sick? You don't look so well. <laughs> Yes, something like that. I don't practice what I preach. <laughs> his dry laugh sounds like he's deflecting. He's abnormally thin for a man of his age. It's possible that he's gravely ill. So, we're heading to the shelter? About that. We were stopped from going further by a locked door. That strange old man was there, too. I doubt he'll cooperate with us, though. It'll be difficult to break in from there. Hmm... Where did you enter the shelter? A uh, manhole on K. Miyamachi Ro North Road. Hmm, I see. She opens the map and studies it. You're right, an entrance is there. But there seems to be one, uh, one other one. It's at M. No South Alley. Have you tried going there? No, not yet. Then let's go there. Hopefully we can get in. Hey, okay, so are we taking Dr. Damon? <laughs> or are we taking Hiru? Who's our who's gonna be our buddy this time? <laughs> the sickly doctor or the aloof scientist? <laughs> our choices are kinda shitty. It's Cootie! Hello! Hello and welcome! <laughs> How's it going? Oh, Sneeffles. Um. <laughs> it's better than it being still. Um. So yeah, does anybody have a preference for which which character we have? You know, it's a good one. We've already seen it in a manhole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would a sea doctor be better? <laughs> They're both sedentary for us. I believe in it. Sickly doctor. All right, let's. <laughs> no sun deers. Not sun deers. You've done it bad, fruity. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, let's. Not system. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> let's head to the south alley. Let's go check out this underground facility, because what could possibly go wrong? 
Oh, it's no man manhole alley. Uh, we reach M no South Alley. Like the North Road, it's silent and empty. It's hard to believe a lab entrance is on a residential street like this. In any case, we should look around. Yeah, we should. What's this? Even though this is a res residential area, the street is completely deserted. As far as you're aware. What's this? There are traces of the name of, of the store up by the roof. It looks like it's closed now. can't go anywhere else so I guess into the manhole we go there's a manhole unlike K Miyamachi this bird only has one it definitely looks suspicious the manhole lid has a place to grip it just like the one at K Miyamachi this has to be it still this is strange why doesn't the public have any idea about this underground shelter because who who just goes into into manholes for fun Vincenzo. You'd think the sewer department would at least- oh, okay. No, that's <laughs> reasonable conclusion. We can assume all info on this place is being concealed by someone. I mean, I guess they wouldn't go- they wouldn't just pop into a random manhole. So if this one's not listed on their manholes to check, why would they go into- I'm gonna stop saying manhole now? Um, it'd be trouble if it were made public, huh? Then it's people who used to be involved. Yes, some are still alive today. A certain city representative used to be my grandfather's colleague. The Cujos may not be innocent either. Oh. Were they involved somehow? What? <laughs> oh, you don't know? You don't know? After the war, the Cujo head was prohibited from public service. Farley, what are you doing? Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Why are all my cats causing problems? I mean, this is good <laughs> good advice. Don't just go into a random manhole. I mean, at least, like, do some research beforehand. Hi! I got a big, big cat over here. Hi, what are you doing? Um, it was because he assisted the army in some manner. That's, not, that's super excited! Or er, exciting, sorry, words! <laughs> that's super cool, though! I'm glad you're home, and I'm glad that you have a, a computer that you can play games on. And you've got Sign of Silence, too! Um, we just had a Friend Friday yesterday, um, and this next week we're going to be doing uh, an Indie Friday, is the general plan, at least. Um, but the next Friend Friday, you should definitely join us! You're in the Discord, right? Um, is Cooney? Because if so... <laughs> you should definitely play Sign of Silence with us sometime. Um, Farley, what are you doing? All my cats are like, being super whack today. What are you up to? <laughs> um, so he could have been involved with the lab? If I had to make a guess... This man holds a Pandora's box for any dignitary with a damaged reputation. I wonder what secrets we'll find. So many secrets. Still, you know a lot about it, considering. I'm interested in the lab myself, though not as much as Hiru is. I've already done some research. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um... But, I mean, you got time to figure it out and stuff. And uh, you should, uh, if you don't already, you should definitely add yourself to the Friend Friday role. Because um, I try and tag everyone who is in that uh, so we can all plan, like, what games we're going to play and who is available to play for Friend Fridays and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> Sharing a computer sucks, though. Had to do that a number of times <laughs> with the household before. <laughs> but awesome I'm so happy for you that's really exciting and I can imagine it's a lot less stressful that way too um but this being such an important secret place isn't it a little too easy to get into true they're not guarding it the lid could have originally been locked or bolted shut somehow this Miss Zoom might have done away with the restraints 
They just super glued the manhole shut. <laughs> just dumped a bunch of Gorilla Grew on it. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, when I lift the lid, a musty smell greets me. Ugh, this smells familiar. Like the other entrance, the hole goes deep. Thankfully, there's a ladder here too. This reminds me of when I was a kid. Let's get going, Cost. Okay! <laughs> Let's go! Damon and I descend into the dark world, uh, hidden beneath H-City. What awaits us down in this darkness? Will we find the truth we're seeking? Or a uh, hell smeared with blood? Cannon soldier. Let's go, let's go. The site that greets us at the bottom is the same as what we saw at K Miyamachi. The looming concrete walls and the suffocating stagnant air. Is there hair everywhere again too? Cause that was a thing. We weren't wrong to assume that the two places are connected. <coughs> <laughs> This is not a place someone with bad lungs like me should be. And is that an army song? Hearing that, I feel worse. It's been 50 years, so there's no way a radio or a phonograph is still playing. Something supernatural has to be at work. It's so easy to fall back and blame things on the supernatural now. I've gotten too used to this occult world. Hmm. I see. I don't have any spiritual powers, so that kind of thing is beyond me. If you say so, then I believe you. That looks like blood. <laughs> First off, let me look for hair. No, all right. It's a blood stain. There's an area within the stain that is lighter color, or that is a lighter color than the rest. I run my fingers over it and realize that something is stuck to the floor. I keep scratching at it until it starts to crease, and I manage to pull it up off the floor. Got a worn out talisman. Oh, hell yeah! Getting it- getting it right away, aren't we? Um... Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I only take my zombie boyfriends to the nicest of locations for our wonderful supernatural dates. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Uh, a trail of blood leads to the ladder at the entrance. Was someone trying to escape? There are pitch black stains. Is this blood? <laughs> I mean, if somebody took me to a scary underground lab tunnel covered in blood as a as a first time date, I'd love it. <laughs> No, I'd probably stand there and be like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, seems so. Still, there's entirely too much of it. It's like a blood bag burst. Or a person? Oh, I mean, people are technically just blood bags, right? <laughs> but doesn't that other thing bother you too? Of course it bothers me. I imagine we're on the same page. It looks like Something was posted here. There's a clearly defined clean space on the wall, as if something had been there. It looks like it avoided being sprayed with blood because something was originally posted here. Some kind of poster or bulletin? There's unfortunately no way to know. Can I feel it? <laughs> Stains seem to be old blood. It crackles and breaks off into flakes when I run my finger over it. Can I, op I open my eyes wide and stare at the white space that might have been a poster. I only end up drying out my eyes. Oh, don't do that. Alright, is there anything else? No. Onward! Let's go, zombie boyfriend. Oof. Let's... Something flows swiftly down the pipes. I didn't click on it. Let me just start with that. Let's go to the left first. Hmm. 
When I step in view of an iron door that appears before me, the air clearly shifts. Goosebumps rise. A presence is approaching. There's an incessant beeping, like from a telegraph. Quick, who knows Morse code? Oh, fuck. Um. I turn on my heel and go back the way we came without looking back. We'll revisit that once we have more information. <laughs> doesn't seem like the presence is following. We've managed to escape. Great, then let's go forward, which is the right path? Oh, jeez. The dried blood is blackened on the floor. There's quite a lot. Whoever left it probably died. Really? <laughs> what? What makes you say that? Let's check out these dead ends. Looks like this is a dead end. Yeah. Hmm? It does look like there's only a wall ahead, but... A breeze. I feel a draft coming from in front of us. But all that's there is a wall. Okay, but can you touch it? <laughs> can we touch the wall? Can we examine the wall? Nope. You, you just know that there's something going on there. And then you're not going to do anything to investigate it. Alright. Alright. I see how it is. <laughs> anything in this one? Nope. Alright. Let's just go back and uh, continue down this very long path. Can't look at that blood. They're pitch black stains. Okay, that's the same as the other one that we tried. Can we feel it? Stains seem to be old blood. It crackles and breaks off into flakes when I run my finger over it. Alright. Let's open the door and go through. The air in this room is musty. At first glance, I'd say it's part of a medical facility. Looks like an operating room. And this smell must be... Oh, there it is. Cost, sorry, but could you shine the light over there? It's, it's a body. Uh, yeah! I shine the flashlight as directed. And find a corpse. Demon crouches down and begins to study it. Whoa, it's pretty old. You might be better off having an archaeologist or anthropologist looking at it. Damon skillfully examines the body. By that, do you mean he just, like, pokes it with a stick or something? <laughs> uh, when they're done, they stand up again. The corpse is odd. Ex extremely odd. The cervical vertebrae is severed. But the cut's a mess. Some kind of small, bladed object did it, most likely. Though it clearly wasn't cut with a surgical tool. I cannot even imagine why anyone would do something so cruel. The head was severed with a tool, huh? It's too old. Corpse isn't enough. Someone should have left behind records. Might be wise to search the room. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe sit on the table and hold hands or something. I assume that was a spooky that I missed. <laughs> Looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. The cut by the neck is jagged. It must have been cut with some kind of tool. Alright. Is there anything in here? How about in here? Nothing's inside the metal cabinet. Okay. How about in here? cabinet with a glass door. Hi, Tebo. No cries. Looks like there's something in it. Can we get it? Can you get it? I open it and search inside. I find a notebook titled Research Records and a small gun. The notes have deteriorated, but I can just make out what they say. 70th. Next experiment. Asura statue. Connect. 
Male body and female head success. <laughs> Asylum was a pretty good uh, American Horror Story uh, season. I'll give you that. <laughs> I kind of dropped off after Hotel. Um, I think I did watch Roanoke and then was solidified at that point that it was no longer for me. <laughs> um, then I assume that's supernatural phenomenon, spirit, frequent, hard, continue experiments. That's all it says. Got research records too and palm pistol. Seems to be a record of the experiments performed here. How fascinating. Okay, do you have anything more to say about it, buddy? Or are you just gonna be like, hmm, so interesting? <laughs> it's a rusted filing cabinet. Uh, it's a well-built metal cabinet. Whatever's inside should be intact. <laughs> I haven't watched it in a while. I started Covenant and haven't finished. I, yeah, I don't think I've seen... Or Coven, right? I enjoyed Coven. I thought it was good. I know a lot of people thought it was, like, super campy. Um, it's still dark and heavy. But I thought it was cute. <laughs> uh, can we open the cabinet? When I open the door, a cloud of dust flies up and blocks my vision. A notebook with a black cover is left inside. Um, we got experimental unit correspondence code. Experimental unit correspondence code. Seems to be a document about cryptograms. Inside it says... Canon. Weapons code name dot 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 dash dot dot dash dash. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> I don't necessarily know that I need to know this. Oh no, don't tear my movie list. I need that. Please, paper. I just need, I just need a bit of you. Dot, 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 dash, dot, dot, dash, dash. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Buddha Projects Co- Oh, fucking hell. Okay, never mind. Let's redo this. Canon <laughs> was dot, 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 dash, dot, dot dash dash uh the first one was a cannon soldier and i just got that written down and then i'll just put h buddha is dot dash please pen work dot dash dash dot dash dash dot oh god morse code So, human heads used as materials. Dash dot dash dot dot dash. I think we need this for the hallway that we heard the Morse code in. Um, excuse you. Hold on a second. My cats are being ridiculous. Hey. Can you not? Mister? Troublemakers. The lot of them. Are we gonna try and translate them? That's <laughs> that's mighty. Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. If you figure out what it means, it's cool. I wonder if it's just like a code name though. Like it might not. It might just be a bunch of nonsense. Um, Canon's code was dot 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 dash dot dot dash dash. It's cats. Also, oh, Alania update for Travis. Well, guess what? I got it right here. As always, she's sleeping a lot. But she's a good girl. Can you say hi? Say hello. Hi. Yeah? She's doing good, though. Hold on a second. I swear. Every animal right now. Stop playing with that. Hey, 
get out from under the couch, please? <laughs> I've considered setting up a cat cam. They're all over everywhere at any given point, though. Hi. Except for Lamia. She's always under the desk. Forever. Um, no, she's doing good. We, um... Trying to think of what what what's new with her. She's more or less the same. Still sleepy, still slow, always groggy. <laughs> um, oh, we did recently. So I had to uh, a while ago. I had to change the cat boxes um, to a different style of cat box because she couldn't jump into the one that I had. Um, but we have switched back to the original cat boxes because she's managing it again, much much better. Uh. And she's generally just being super snuggly, like, more so than normal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, like, have it set so that I, like, wake up fairly early in the morning because I want to try and do stuff. <laughs> um, but it ends up being that I, like, don't get out of bed for, like, an extra hour, hour and a half because she is there and is like, nope, now is the time for me. So I gotta love on her for an hour in the morning <laughs> when I wake up. But it's fine because she deserves it. Um, no, but she's doing, she's doing really well, um, all things considered. Hasn't, hasn't had any, any episodes for a while, which is great. Um, cause like a couple months back, you know, she had the, I don't know, she like had a cold or something and it just wiped her out. Um, she sleeps a ton as is, <laughs> but like, I was genuinely concerned about her for a little bit after, after her cold. Um, but nah, she's wild and rascally. I've got a ton of toys out that she really, really likes and she plays with them all the time. She stays active and it's good. It's good for her. <laughs> she still gets mad at, uh, at like, Mork and Debo simply for existing. Uh, but she and Farley are the best of friends. <laughs> They'll snuggle up with each other. I posted a picture in, um, in the Discord the other day uh, of her sharing her blanket with Farley, which d is not allowed. I can barely put my foot on her blanket without her getting mad at me. Um, so the fact that she'll let Farley, like, sleep on her blanket with her is adorable. They're best friends. <laughs> but yeah, she's good. Oh, Lamia. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. She's down there staring at me. <laughs> um... Yeah, good, good cats. Uh, alright, so it looks like Wab- Waboon? Wabun? Wabun code? It's similar to Morse- oh, so it's not Morse code, but it's- I- I- oh. Does it, like, translate to kanji? I'm curious, hold on a second, let me look this up. <laughs> Cause I wanna know. Um... Yeah! Oh, excuse me, where are you going? Yeah, basically just, uh... I was just curious, like, what it looked like. I don't know if this would show up on the camera at all. It absolutely will not. Um... Well, normal Morse, co Morse code uh, translates to, like, letters and stuff. Um, this one translates to very basic kanji. Very interesting. I always wondered how that worked. <laughs> um, cool. Alright, let's see. Let's continue on straight. And then... Yeah, let's go ahead and check out that hallway, I guess. Feel a draft coming from the wall. It's possible, but it still concerns me. Oh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> it's to the left in this hallway, isn't it? So instead of from the direction that we're facing, going straight to where the code is, let's go north? Where does this lead? It's a thick iron door. 
keyhole isn't rusted. I could open if I had a key. Okay, so... Never mind. We won't go there. We'll go deal with this... This code thing. It's worth... Worth a look. When I step in view of an iron door that appears before me, the air clearly shifts. Goosebumps rise, the presence is approaching. That's so fast. My brain can't process that. Can I freeze? I freeze in place. Oh. Alright, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> the baby becomes gradually louder. Almost as if it's trying to tell me something. Is that the cannon one? I can hear like three consecutive beeps at least. Dash dot dash dot dot dash. Dash dot dash dot dot. Soul, it's soul. The sequence dash dot dash dot dot dash just keeps repeating. This code, what in the world does it mean? It means soul. I, I, I have it, I have it right here. <laughs> I know! And then I get it wrong. Now we're good. <laughs> I hear a quiet voice. Point two. Your soul. Is it my head? Is that where they said it is? Didn't the Greeks think the head was like the seat of the soul? The beeping suddenly stops. T seriously? Amazing. A real supernatural event. Damon seems pleased. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm sure this will happen again, but there's no need to tell him that. Is it safe now? Yeah, probably. Hm. Let's keep moving then. Um, can I save first? Hey. <laughs> awesome. I need to be better about that. It's set up the same way as that operating room. This place may have been used for the same experiments. Hope there are experiment notes. Now let's get searching. Excuse you. <laughs> it looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. The cut by the neck is jagged. It must have been cut with some kind of tool. Alright. What's in here? It's a cabinet with a glass door. It looks like something's inside. I open it and search around. I find bells attached to a handle and a notebook with a black cover. It's titled Disposal Vat Management Re uh, Record. Flip the cover open. Dispose 200 Super Dimension. Suddenly, Iron Door half spiritualized. Hypothesize Focus Mystical Forces need Sacred Object to Erase. Safety Valve Release Code Diamond. There's nothing else written. Got Kagura Suzu Bell's disposal vat management record. What in the world are these notes going on about? Disposal, half, spiritual, half spiritualization. I don't understand half these words. Well, disposal means to get rid of. <laughs> Plus, the spells I found don't fit this place at all. I close the notebook and put it in my bag. Just then, something tingles around my hand. Hmm? I'm not done looking around in here, though. It's a thin thread. It seems to be human hair. There it is! <laughs> it glitters- er, yeah. It glitters pale go gold in the light. What? The mark starts sucking at my blood. I ignore it and instead stare at the shining hair, as if being pulled in. 
it's odd, but I get the real feeling that this moment? No, it's here. This place. I... I've been here before. Mark's color grows more vivid! A few hours left until death closes in. Mumble, mumble, mumble. <laughs> someone mumbles right next to me. Wait, that's not someone else. That's my own voice. As I thought, it's here. The words pour out from deep inside. I have absolutely no knowledge or control over them. Memories that aren't mine, words and feelings I couldn't possibly know are f uh, falling from my lips. Check the disposal bat. It must be behind that wall. It felt weird when standing in front of that wall. The 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 wall that was had a breeze coming out of it. Cost. What's this all of a sudden? The instant Damon speaks, the voice stops. It's nothing. I just remembered something important. Are you honestly all right? Those were some rather odd mumbles. I'm fine, really. I just spaced out for a bit. For better or worse, Damon didn't clearly hear what I was saying. Still though, that voice. Could it be that my old self, the one I lost along with my memories, was talking to me? The feeling I got when I say or when I saw that golden hair, maybe that's what triggered it. I haven't heard that other guiding voice for a while now. I guess all I can do is rely on my old self. The disposal vat beyond the wall. The voice said to find that. Cool. Okay, can I look at this now though? I open the wire mesh door and peek inside, but I don't see anything. I go to close the door and see a paper stuck to the back side. More talismans! Love that for us. Um... Is there anything else that I need to look at in here? Light bulb. The light bulb is flickering weakly. Oh, okay. That's all you got? Alright. Let's continue on then. Um, so we need to go to the wall that we felt the breeze at, right? Also, can we get a music change? <laughs> This song's getting real old. We go north at the intersection and... Huh? An outline of a door is flickering faintly in the wall ahead of us. Hey, look at that! Hmm? What? Are you seeing odd things again? You can't see it? Unfortunately, no. Looks like Damon can't see the door. Mumble, mumble. That's the spiritual. My mouth begins mumbling words that I don't recognize all on its own. Oppose the spiritual with spiritual. If you touch it with a tool that honors the gods. So the, the bells? The flow of words out of my mouth stops. Touch it with a tool that honors the gods. Um, again, can I save? Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Again, probably start doing, like, multiple saves to make sure that we don't mess it up. Um. Yeah, let's use the bells. I take out the Kagura Suzu bell. Is just touching it okay? No. Have to... Strange words spill from my lips again. It's the priestess's tool. If a man displays spiritual power, it'll be destroyed. So touch it silently. We, yeah, definitely. would never mess it up. Um, Ellie, welcome. Props to you for getting that vivarium cleaned. I can only imagine how much work that is. <laughs> um, all I have is questions, but I have no choice but to trust the other me. 
I touched the mouse of the door carefully, making sure not to make any noise. The next instant, the door physically appears. What? Wait, I'm not hallucinating, am I? I'm completely shocked. What magic did you conjure to do this? It just felt like it was the right thing to do. But... I stare at the door. Sense an alarming presence. According to my own voice, if I can call it that, the disposal vat is beyond this door. I found some documents about it in the room with the operating table. Might be good to look through those. Let's be careful. That place is giving me a bad feeling. Yeah, I've already forgotten what the notes that we <laughs> had said. Um, so maybe we should check those? Dispose 200. I assume the iron door and the half spiritualized thing is what we just did. Mystic forces need sacred object to erase. Safety valve release code diamond. <laughs> Got the mesh removed, bathed opal, and ordered new cleanup bugs. <gasps> that is super exciting. Again, props to you for getting that all done. I can... Oof. Oof. <laughs> has Opal ever, like... Has she chilled out about... About, uh... Baths? <laughs> um... Oh! Push open the iron door and we head inside. Whoa. This is amazing. On the other side of the door is a large, empty area reminiscent of a vault. Is this the disposal vat? It should be, but it's not quite what I expected. Something's on the ground. She didn't have any stress marks. Good! She was ready to be clean. <laughs> I mean, I guess her just... Whether she's gotten used to it or not, as long as she's not stressed out. <laughs> uh, it looks like a sword? Got rusted army sword! I take what Damon picked up. I shine the flashlight around the area. Also, we found all the headless- well, the heads of the headless Buddhas. Are these heads of Buddha statues? They're kind of just scattered around. This might be a garbage dump. Just then... Huh? Decaffeinated? <laughs> the sound echoes off something heavy moving, and suddenly the room is lit with a pale light. I have a rather bad feeling. Let's get out of here for now. I try to open the door to get out, but... but it's locked! Impossible. A cutting coldness invades and uh, envelops my feet. Now you got wet shoes! <laughs> my head snaps up and I see water pouring into the room like a giant waterfall. W water? It's ice cold. A polar bear sw uh, swim is not something I ever wanted to do. I've done those a couple of times. I think they're fun, personally. Um, water the yacht! <laughs> Quickly rises to our knees. Can't even feel my feet anymore. W water underground? We have to get out of here. We'll die of hypothermia! Oh shit. It was a good pun. I need to make a <laughs> command. Someone remind me to do that later. <laughs> I, I have to remember what was written in those documents about the disposal vat. All I see near me are the Buddha heads. You gotta scream diamond? Or we'll touch the, the one with the diamond head. There we go. Hell yeah! I touch the diamond our hot head. There's a heavy shudder and the sound of movement. 
Then the pooling water suddenly starts sweeping in one direction, down into a drain. Whoa! It it's pulling us in! If we're getting pulled in, how are we surviving? That's my question. <laughs> oh no! When I open my eyes, all I see is darkness. Ugh. I quickly lift my head and rub my eyes. My vision slowly comes back. This is... An intersection in the underground shelter. Looks like we were drained out with the water and flushed down a pipe. We were lucky. I barely near- or very nearly breathe a sigh of relief. But then I remember Damon. Yeah, he's fucking dead. <laughs> but that's right. Where's Damon? No need to be so worried. Oh, never mind. He's not dead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so it's you! It's been a while, you sneaky intruder. It's that old man I met in the passageway beneath Manhole Street. I tried to ask him about Damon, but... Ugh... My jaw is nearly locked, and my voice is gone. Don't try to talk just yet. The water here comes straight from the T Mountain Range, so it's deadly cold. You were submerged in it for near an hour, or, or so you'll be slurring your words for a while. For an hour? He was. I don't. I don't want to say he was rude, but he was definitely like, get out of here. <laughs> uh, cause I mean. He's living down here, and we kind of just showed up, and so he's got to protect his turf! Um, it is his manhole! We are invading his manhole! <laughs> so sorry. Um, but no, we've definitely, like, encroached on his space, so I mean, if he was rude to us, we did kind of deserve it. <laughs> relax, relax. Your friend's fine! So you, uh, got somewhere to go back to? Ugh. I nod as I groan. The old man's face brightens like the sun. Well, that's great! Not that I'm demanding a reward for saving you or anything. But I am pretty darn hungry. Man eyes me, his smile sharp. His face in a public sewer? It's not a public sewer! Nor is a public tunnel! <laughs> um... I mean, technically, it's a private lab? But he got dibs. Squatter's rights. <laughs> Just let the man live in his sewer while we go 23 miles an hour. Kilometers per hour, excuse me. Uh, we get in the car, and even though it's the wrong season for it, I turn the heat on full blast. We dry off with towels and the like, but it doesn't stop our shivering for a long time. While this is going on, the old man... Ooh, it's hot! Can I open a window? He's blatantly fanning himself in front of us. Okay, yes, in a way we owe him our lives, but even so, he's being a pain. Hang in there a little while longer. Demon shudders. Y you can see a shivering, can't you? How selfish can you get? It was an honest question, and it probably sucks for him, but we still keep the car like a sauna. After driving like that for a while, our teeth finally stopped chattering. The man's name is Banshee Ito. That's how he introduced himself. But that obviously isn't his real name. As he sits next to me, Banshee gives off a savory smell, like freshly- fresh- freshly? Fresh- fucking dude! Like freshly baked bread! kind of cheers me up, or at least it does for a few minutes, until I realize it's a stench of dried filth. You could probably get out and walk if he's too hot and beat us there. Right? Right. So, Banshee, what were you doing in a place like that? Banshee remains silent. Are you listening to me? Don't feel up to talking yet. I'll tell you in exchange for food. Shouldn't be surprised. Life's rough. Wait, that should be my question. What were you two doing down there? It's a long story. I summarize everything we know about spirits and the mark until I catch up to where 
Well, we met him in the underground shelter. Hmm. Hmm. So that's how it is, huh? He nods vigorously to himself. I wonder if you truly understand, old man. Damon's doubts are reasonable, but Banshee waves a hand dismissively. Of course I do. Who do you think I am? A terrible grudge is mucking up that underground shelter. And you guys are wrapped up in it now. His story suddenly sounds fishy. A grudge? Banshee, do you know what happened down there? I said I'm not talking about that yet. I was born into a noble family, so I've always had the ability to see things others can't. Stake my name, Banshee Ito, on it so you can trust me. It's a terrible grudge swirling there. You've gotten swept up in it. He's got nothing to base his claims on, but I get the feeling he's on the right track. In that case, oh noble Lord Banshee, would you tell us? How do we overcome that whirlpool? Banshee replies with a magnanimous flourish. That should be obvious. Whirlpools always have a center. You've got to find that. The center? That swirling grudge in the spirit thing. Is that what you called it? The birth of the spirit, the heart of the curse. Something like that should be left within that there swirling grudge. If you look for that, I'm sure then. He trails off. He gazes at the dark road, his mouth hanging open. It's like he's run out of batteries. Then what? What will happen? The black sky simply goes on forever before Banshee's eyes. Okay, but can we hang out with him? Oh, excuse me. But can we hang out with Banshee? Because that'd be pretty dope. Oh, that reminds me, Cost. Banshee calls out as soon as we enter the garage. Take this. Just a little symbol of our friendship. Underground shelter key! Just what I needed. Is this a key for the underground shelter? Mm-hmm. I found it when I was popping in and out from that place. I held on to it. But I'll lend it to you for now, Cost. He just picked it up. Why is he acting like it's a favor? But I have no reason to refuse him. Thanks. I'll borrow it. Hero walks up to us. Oh, welcome back. Learn anything? Damon butts in before I can speak. Wait a second. You're not really considering... You haven't fallen for that suspicious old man's story, have you? Wow, that's rude. <laughs> if you want my opinion, a snotty punk like you should be trusted even less. Of course, cost. You believe me, right? Of course. <laughs> That's my good pal cost for you. Well, I suppose if you're fine with it, then I won't uh, I won't worry about it. Anyway, changing the subject. Good grief. Can we just move on from talking about this? Banshee, you're hungry, right? The dining room should have something. <gasps> Food! Food! Banshee bolts out of the garage and vanishes into the mansion. Rue gives me an exasperated look. Mr. Cost, you've got a crazy one on your hands this time. Always trust someone called Banshee. <laughs> I don't know if that's good life advice, Birdie. But, uh, you do you. <laughs> to appease the starving Banshee, I offer him some cup noodles and sweet buns. I want sweet buns. I want... The epitome of hunger, he greedily begins scarfing it down like a starving dog. You do trust everyone. We have, uh, <laughs> we have, uh, put that together. That was enough for ten people. He devours, uh, he devours all of it, and I'm reminded of a high-power vacuum cleaner. Hey, man's gotta eat. Excellent. His voice! <laughs> I haven't been this full in forever. Glad to hear it. Mind answering some questions? Why were you down in that shelter? Well, that's an easy one. Because it's my home. What? Been living there ever since I found it ten years ago. It's not too shabby a place. Keeps me out of the rain and no damn brats messing with me. Oh, it gets a bite cold in the winter. I don't know how to respond to that. Hiru and Demon seem to be the same. 
Squatter's right! That's what I'm saying! It was a paradise for me because no one knew about it. Until a weirdo showed up six months ago. Some woman doused in perfume. Zukawa! It was winter and I don't like stirring up trouble, so I just stayed away. That must have been Zukawa. I nod. That's my thought as well. That was a month ago. I figure she must have up and left, so I went back. But now there's something stranger. Which was... A damn walking Buddha statue! I know I'm pretty out there, but even I was shocked by that. I even got this weird scar. Ah, uh, fuck. Banshee removes a scarf, revealing the mark on his neck. You may not believe this, but... That statue gave you that scar. I figured. It was the cannon soldier, after all. The what now? The cannon soldier? How do you know that name? Some document I saw had it. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're gonna be taking Banshee with us. <laughs> it was an old plan to make a Buddha statue move with supernatural powers. A heavenly Buddha project weapon. Are you nuts? Spirit powers making something move? That's insane! Now, now, Hiru, calm down. So those documents that you found, are they still around? Nope! I burnt them for warrant. A delicious roasted potato, too. H how could you- <coughs> Maybe take your own advice, Dr. Damon. Our measure of common sense seems to be rather different than this strange old man's. It's fine. My noggin works different from most people's. I got it all memorized. As you say, just tell us. We need to know about that project. Give us the information. We need to know it all. The Heavenly Buddha project was the pet project of some general at the end of the war. So they built that shelter for it. Ta-da! The 13th Army Engineering Lab. To make the cannon soldier thing, they did test some Buddha statues. They were brought from some shrine or something somewhere. That must be H Shrine. They did a bunch of stuff to infuse the statues with spiritual power. There was a monk from T Mountain. Spiritual treasures from all over. But nobody thought anything would actually come from it. The project was just an excuse to keep that fanatical general busy. At least it was supposed to, but... but one day, the statue started moving. It went berserk throughout the lab and went crazy on a ton of people. Blood stains and old corpses in the shelter are probably the victims. Some people survived, but they had red bite-like bite marks on them. The thing went and wrecked the place then. Uh, it stopped and never moved again. No one knows what even triggered it. That's about everything it said. Hiru and Damon are as white as sheets. I mean, Damon already was. Let's be real. <laughs> I probably am too. It's a hard story to believe, but he has no reason to lie to us. I think he speaks the truth. What? Are you kidding me? A statue going around killing people and cur or cursing them? Impossible. Then how do you explain the mark on his neck? Logic would dictate that the moving statue he saw was the cannon soldier. Ugh. St. Damon's a very light green, actually. Alright, still extremely pale, though. <laughs> uh, the dormant soldier suddenly starts moving after 50 years. <laughs> a sickly green? This poor man. That might be the cause of uh, mine, and Hir mine and Haru's marks. What if you flip that, though? Both your grandpa's got the mark from the cannon soldier. When the soldiers stopped moving, their marks disappeared. But with it started up again, you got them because of your descendants. If that's true, then the children inherited their parents' fate. Hiro can't seem to muster up any kind of counter-argument. I think she's in shock. I want to ask you something, old man. You say the cannon soldiers stopped moving 50 years ago. But why? Mm, I think it was... Some spiritual person used the thingamajig to do something. So you have no idea. It's the most important part. Try to remember. 
Mm, it's not that easy, son. The mark might have made me forget. Taking his age into account, it's more likely he just completely slipped his mind. Rude. Seems we must defeat the. T Seems we must defeat the cannon soldier to be free of our marks. We'll have to figure it out on our own if he can't be of more help. You seem a pro at this cost. We'll be relying on you. I don't have spiritual powers or anything. But you've already faced down four different spirits, haven't you? A normal person would have uh, wouldn't have survived. Oof. Now that he says it, I guess he's right. I have been hearing a mysterious voice a few times and having weird premonitions. I even caught myself unconsciously talking when we were down in the shelter. So, what are you folks gonna do now? Good question. Ooh. I mean, by proxy, we'll be learning about the statues if we learn about the soldier or the project. But we'll learn about the soldier. Oh my god. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, probably the project? Right? Mm. Let's investigate the project in the shelter. I feel like that'll be the key to the mark. I guess we're going back in then. We? <laughs> her real's too kind of sulking, but she's at least recovered from her shock. We all share the same fate. It's too late to try to run away. Yep, you should find it there! The heart of everything that's causing the curse. You need that to stop the cannon soldier. That's what my gut's telling me. What are you gonna do then? I'm full now, so I was gonna take a nap in that park nearby. I'll sit and wait until you fellas do something about that soldier. Wait just a minute, you old fart. Jesus fucking Christ! I could have yelled, but sorry, but Farley is your chief. Royce walks it out. Couldn't that have just stayed downstairs? I know. He's a chief. Unstable. Sorry. <sighs> Allie says hi. Hi, Allie. <laughs> Excuse me a second to recover. <laughs> that was terrifying. He did do me a spoop! <laughs> it was grocery day today, so we had like all of our groceries delivered and like had to pick a couple of things up. And I guess that's probably why my phone was like lighting up a bunch as my, my mom was telling me that food was here. <laughs> I guess Farley was eating some of the cheese that I asked to get picked up. Cheese is here. Jesus! Good headphones! Good sound canceling headphones, y'all. <laughs> Dear God. All right. Cat Jesus. <sighs> okay, my heart's fine now. <laughs> the real spooks were the dads we met along the way. Um. Didn't we just say that it's too late to run away? Okay, okay, I get it. Well, you folks did feed me, so I guess I can help you. <sighs> Alright. Let's get Banshee on our team. Excellent! Excellent! I like him. He's good. The strange vagrant. Um. Alright, we'll save here. <laughs> Let's go to the South Alley. Alley! Oof. Alright, back into the tunnels we go. It's you! It's Alley! Emmy, welcome. Naps are important, though. <laughs> I mean, even if it's a long nap, was it a, was it a good nap? Was it a restful nap? Cause see, even when I take even when I take naps, they don't tend to be restful, no matter how short or how long they are. You may not have wanted to nap, but your body was like nap. 
<laughs> it's nap time. <laughs> but you're here now, and that's what matters. Bonus nap. <laughs> uh, the keyhole isn't rusted. I could open it if I had a key. It's out in my dream. I lived in a... I wouldn't want to live in anything remotely reminiscent of a dorm. <laughs> Percent episode actually took real time. <laughs> if only. Get that pocket space time universe. Specifically for napping. <laughs> I mean, you at least had, like, reason to be unhappy in your dream. I wouldn't, again, would not want to live anywhere reminiscent of a dorm. Miserable. I can hear a victory chant coming from the other side of the intersection. I mean, I don't have any other options. I shrug and keep moving. Eh! <laughs> Take one step forward and... An electric current runs through my body and my muscles seize up. Oh, fucking hell. That might surpass my usual superpower. <laughs> I thought it was a, a prehensile tail. Having a tail that you could do stuff with. I thought that was the superpower that you wanted. Am I just making this up? No? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> I remember you being very adamant, adamant about that at one point. Um, we... I know what you just <laughs> We have three tasks that we would like to do. <laughs> Super speed, prehensile tail, pocket dimension, and four, four tasks. <laughs> uh, no, po I mean, just pocket dimension in general would be a very powerful choice. I feel like anyone who has to take naps on the reg would be unstoppable with this pocket dimension. <laughs> This is why they can't create it. Y'all gotta be nerfed somehow. <laughs> um, you lay about! What are you doing there? You have time to be loafing around, do you? Recite this base's slogans at once! <laughs> Come back with your findings. <laughs> Cause I'm curious. Also, the base's slogans. Cheer for the final battle in the homeland. Uh... Oh, I'm glad you remember it. I only remember some of it. <laughs> Once more, declare our resolve to strike back with air raids. We won't lose, even if our country's reduced to ashes. Show your determination. Yeah, nationalism is terrifying. Land of the Gods is indestructible? I'm legit just guessing on these. <laughs> our army has fought bravely from the southern tropics to the northern Arctic, but the tide still hasn't turned in our favor. What do you think? Can we win this crusade? No. <laughs> Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> Here, hold on. Hey, mouse, can you work? Can you work? Boop. There. There. <laughs> You're pretty promising for a new recruit. Keep a good eye on this squad. Farewell. Oof. Nationalism is bad, guys. Just saying. Don't do it. <laughs> there are numerous footprints in the blood stain on the floor. Are these human footprints, or...? No noise is coming from this pipe. I guess that no water is flowing through it. There's nothing in there. Do we... Let's... 
It's how you end up doing Brexit. It's how you end up doing the last four years here in America. <laughs> Y'all, we've all done it so bad. Human bones. Looks like the person was crushed to death. Smush. Something's written on the wall in blood. It says, I... Man, everyone's a fan of that girl. It's a thick iron door. The keyhole isn't rusted. I could open it if I had the key. Open the door with the underground shelter key. Boom. Let's go through. <laughs> I should have saved. It's the operating room in the southern section. But on this table is... How about that? A dead body. A headless corpse is lying there. I guess I can save now? Yeah. Decaffeinated. <laughs> we made this joke already today. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Surprise, everything is just a giant hot fuzz reference now. Excuse you. <laughs> a headless corpse. Going by what remains of its clothing, it was likely a woman. It's it's true. It is true. I forgot how many decaffeinated people there were in uh in this chapter. <laughs> oh, I I took the I I took that one away. <laughs> I can add um I can add it for you though. All right. <laughs> Hold on a second. It was one like we like did it a lot and then we weren't using it at all, so I was just like, meh. Um I'll keep it running in the background though. If y'all got funny shit to add. Oh, I'm like, why is it telling me I spelled it wrong? Because because I don't know. Cause I did it bad. Alright. That's why. All right. That's saved. <laughs> Do you want me to add the dictionary back as a, re as a redemption? I can add it back. <laughs> I did add a couple of new ones, I think. Um, I think I did. I don't know. Yes? Okay. <laughs> Banshee's a cowboy now. <laughs> We can do that. <laughs> Thank you, Fruity. No, <laughs> well, howdy, partner. No, the uh, the old the strange vagrant we have in our <laughs> team. Can you imagine though? Fucking Banshee, the artist. So, if you guys haven't listened to them, I would highly recommend Banshee. They're pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm not singing one of their songs as a as a cowboy. It's not happening. I'll uh, I'll read Banshee as a cowboy though. <laughs> that's not that's not what that that's not what that that redemption does, Emmy. Um, according to my brief research, there aren't any DC or Marvel superheroes with pocket dimension powers explicitly. DC and Marvel are missing out. They're doing it bad. <laughs> Either that or they're just like, that's, that's too much like Dungeons and Dragons with their bag of holding. TV trips will be explored. Good. Good. We need to find a superhero like this. Um. <laughs> Legion did, did they? Okay. Uh, it's missing not only its head, but also all of its limbs. What kind of torture was this? Oh, I thought we were ta still talking about the body on the table, not this one over here. <laughs> I was confused. Legion has a pocket drug den slash cold. <laughs> like you do. It's finally cabinet's well built. Whatever's inside should be intact. Cool. 
I don't know that it is outside of space and time. I guess, yeah, I guess that's the, the important factor, is it has to be outside of space and time. Door is locked. Can I shoot it? I take out the palm pistol. Taking it out, but I can't think of a way to use it. Well, that's because you're a coward. Vincenzo. Uh, let's leave this room. <laughs> Since I can't do anything else in there for the time being. Uh, we could continue to go north, or we can go east. Let's go east. Hands! Door is stained with blood. Upon closer look, it's countless handprints. But the keyhole is perfectly fine. I could open the door if I had the key. But when I turn the knob to go in, the door doesn't open. Hmm? What's the fuss? Or what's the fuss? Oh, how do you? How do you? How do you, cowboy? I wanna be a cowboy, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> that's how you gotta get into the cowboy voice. You just gotta. You, 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 got, you gotta draw. Just gotta get in touch with your inner vine a little bit. Door won't open. I'm sure I unlocked it though. Turn the key again just to double check. Oof. But I was right. It's unlocked. What's going on? Drawl. Drawl. <laughs> Gotta get that drawl in there. <laughs> Oof. Try turning the knob slowly, but it stops moving halfway. It's almost as if someone on the opposite side is pushing against it to keep it closed. It seems the dead are rejecting us. Read all the records. Speak to that woman. Do we gotta talk to Hiru? All the records and that woman. Are the records referring to the research records? I try to prompt my old self in answering. But there's no reply. No choice left. I turn to Banshee. Let's keep looking. We can come back here later. There could be something we still need to do. <laughs> um, alright. Well, let's... Keep looking, then. Ah, uh, heck yeah, more bodies. It's an abandoned skeleton. The bleached corpse is weathered in places. Something's in its bony hand. Gimme. I managed to pry it out. The whole corpse looks like it might crumble at any second. Talismans! Hell yeah. We got a lot of soul power, and that's making me extremely uncomfortable. Oh! Spooky handprints! It's a thick iron door. It's a lackluster yeehaw is good. <laughs> yeehaw. Keyhole isn't rusted. I could open it if I had the key. Then open it. All the tests. We're gonna go- we're gonna do all the tests? It's gonna be miserable. For everyone involved. Especially you guys, because... I have no idea what I'm doing. Aren't you excited? Did we grab you, mate? Did we not? Oh, oh, hair! So much hair. Too much hair. I mean, we killed our teacher, technically speaking. What is this goopy sound? Is this? <gasps> Did we find Manhole Alley? If I climb the ladder, I can go above ground. No, it's there's such thing as too much hair. <laughs> Wrong alley. <laughs> Climbing out of the manhole, we see that we're in K Miyamachi, uh, K Miyamachi North Road. We managed to find a way out. Wouldn't hurt to go back to the mansion for now. It'll be a pain to go back to the M No uh, South Alley for the car, but no, no, no. I want to go back in. 
feels like a weird insult. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hence the distinction of wrong alley. It's not not the alley we're referring to. As in the place, not the mod. <laughs> Why are there so many manholes in that alley? Reasons? Because it's spooky. Terrible city planning. I mean... Alright, so I think we need to go get... Um, I think we need to go get Hiru. Alley's manhole alley party? Alley's manhole alley party. <laughs> are we gonna... <laughs> when are we gonna throw an alley alley party again? Cause those were fun. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's let's go. Feels like. <laughs> I like the implication that you have hosted one previously. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give me a second. Oof. <laughs> Allie, is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> Alright, like I said, I think we gotta get Hiru. <laughs> I just want- I, I just need Allie to not respond to any of us for the next ten minutes to let us just sit here in panic over- <laughs> over what has just been said. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Woof. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. Um Alright, so I've got Hiru because we need to talk to her, right? Go down. This is not where I want Yes, no, this is where I wanted to be. What is happening? Hiru is a cockney? I don't know that I can do that. I don't know that I can do that. Let me- <laughs> I need a sample? Because I don't want to be that person that just equates any British accent with a Cockney accent. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to find one so bad we have to stop doing it. I mean, no. I just... <laughs> any other uh any other accents aside from that very bad british one uh legion personality 005 of david huller all right all right <laughs> we found we found uh a superhero with with dope ass powers. No, I don't need ads. Hold on a second. I know you were trying. The British Society for Preservation? <laughs> what? Hold on. Is this. <laughs> I just need to hear it! I hate this, and I hate the fact that you're making me do this. Um, absolutely, that power could be used for napping. Okay, Cockney accent for Hiro. Woof. <laughs> I hope she says absolutely nothing this entire time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh I! Oh I see! Oh I see! <laughs> I hate it, but I do see. <laughs> God, I would, um, I would die. 
if there was a hero monologue. <laughs> I need to open this. How the fuck do I open this? 12 bit metal, metal cabinet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Open. Door is locked. Do I have anything? Can I use the sword? I like how he pulled it out from his belt. I- oh! Oh, I know! I am painfully aware of this clipping ability and I hoped no one would mention it to remind anyone else! <sighs> Thanks, I hate it. Headless corpse is lying on top of the operating table. Okay, that's useless to me. I did make the redeem. I, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> no, you're right. I just didn't expect Rudy to redeem a Cockney accent. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Um, it's fine. As long as Hero doesn't speak, we're fine. Um, I don't know where to go. Like, how do I... <laughs> Just casually look away anytime Hiru has to speak. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Haru blind. I cannot see anything this this woman says. Can we Can we go look at the Buddhas again? This room is extremely creepy! Alright, nothing in here. <laughs> Where'd you go? Cause like, we've gotten everything in, in this area, right? <laughs> I'm absolutely certain you could you could make that happen with Ant-Man's powers. But uh yeah. Quick. <laughs> we need some scientists to work on this. <laughs> can this can this power be used for uh for napping? What is the nap potential using Ant-Man's shrinking abilities? Door won't open. Fantastic! I love that for me. Actually, can I interact with it? Make Haru tell me about stuff? TNP timeless nap potential. <laughs> uh, it's unlocked, but the door won't open. It's almost as if somebody on the opposite side is pushing against it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Something's written on the wall. It says, I... Yeah. Do you have anything else? No, you don't. So it's just this... So it's just that locked... That one locked cabinet, right? Because I've looked at everything else. Right? <laughs> We don't have a woman's head in our inventory, no. Do we do we need a woman's head in our inventory? I have a lady with me. She got a head a head on her neck. Could could relieve her of that. Alright, well I have no idea where there's a lady's head. Can't be her real time. Very well could be Haru. You don't know. 
We got, yeah, we got to decaffeinate. <laughs> oh no, what have we done? I'm wondering, I wonder if the head is in that friggin' container I can't get open. No, we absolutely have not found a box of statue heads. I think you're too far ahead. <laughs> Which was an unintentional pun, but I'll I'll take it. <laughs> I mean basically we've just we just did the survive or like the life or death event of Oh, what the heck? I might have missed something then, which is annoying, to say the least, but, you know. What can you do? I'm trying to remember if there were any other doors that we hadn't unlocked. Yeah, it might be in a different order. <laughs> can we go through here? Is there anything else in here, I guess? Looks like it's been a number of years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nothing's inside the metal cabinet. Mm. It's okay. I'll just go everywhere. And we'll... See what we see! <sighs> like, this is the Buddha room. And I tried to look over... All of these. There's nothing here. <laughs> Always the left hand wall. Um, no, I mean, I'm just gonna go through everything again, I suppose, because, like, what else am I supposed to do, you know? <laughs> That's fine. I can take this moment to chill out, relax, stop screaming. Um... <gasps> Cyril, hello, welcome. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, the guides, so like I said, I think the guides, like, were made before there was an English, uh, an English translation. Um, so they're just, like, very badly translated. Wait. Mysteriously enough, I can almost see shadows of what look like letters. Also, thank you for getting that shout out for Cyril out, Allie. I feel like I don't have to tell you to do it, because you just do it. You're very good about it. Um, and for Fruity, thank you. Look at that. I mean, everyone, I think everyone here follows everyone at this point, but if you don't, give those dope people some follows. Make good content. <laughs> but we're doing good! Um... Enjoying this very nice Saturday. How are you doing, Cyril? Uh, if they're not clear enough to read. Oh. Can I feel it? Does anyone here stream why I don't follow? I think I think you're I think you're following everyone. Cause at this point, at least in chat, it's just Cyril and me, right? And yourself, but you can't really follow yourself. You are yourself. <laughs> <gasps> doodles doodles that sounds fun though <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good I mean you can still you can still stream also I found a door I, I couldn't open so let's open it now you don't gotta do anything like you know 
regularly. You could just do it, do it for the funds. I'd watch it. There's a single out of place Buddha statue. Its head has been cut off. I didn't like that frame rate drop. That was just spooky. Uh, can we look at it? There's a thin layer of dust on it, but it looks fairly intact. It's a big iron box. Let's open it. What are these doing here? The box is packed with carelessly tossed Buddha statue heads. A real, actual head can clearly be seen among them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't necessarily say a second monitor is, like, necessary. It is extremely helpful, though. I would highly recommend a second monitor. Um, but, I mean, those first couple of months that I, that I was streaming, I only had the one. So... <laughs> um yeah second monitors are very very useful but not necessary um real actual head can be seen among them only one because i see three <laughs> it's dry and mummified but going by the long hair is probably female uh that's not necessarily a safe assumption to make but okay most likely one of the experiment's victims hmm. so this is where it was let's take it and bring it to its owner. Thought you'd say that. Uh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> Guess we can't decaffeinate Hero before she talks. I mean, we still could. There is, there, it's not a zero, zero percent chance that we can't or won't. Also, yeah, day drink. I was definitely doing that earlier. It's a good time. <laughs> um, I feel Haru's gaze on me. UFO added. Well, in that case, okay, so hold on. I can only carry one head at a time. I need to choose which one to take. The, the woman's head? Got human head. Because it said to talk to the woman. I thought it was Haru. So I know Ferdy's redeemed, excuse you, I know Ferdy's redeemed voices for two characters. <laughs> do you want me to stick with Hiru? Or do you want me to go back and get Banshee? Um, I mean, to be fair, I still would have picked up the woman's head because it said to talk to the woman, right? <laughs> stick with Hiru. Is it because I had such a violent reaction to... No, no one likes Hiru. Don't, don't kid yourself. <laughs> uh -huh, okay, okay, sure. No one likes Hiru. You know what I like? My stupid football glass. It's a very good glass. It's shaped like a, like a football. <laughs> Cause you know me. So into sports. <laughs> it was definitely not before before she was cockney. Such a football fan. That's me. Go sports ball. <laughs> I got like five of these cups for like eighty five cents at a Goodwill at one point. It seemed um, it seemed worth it. <laughs> Did, did the ball go? Go sports ball. It went. Woo! Um. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I can't believe I've done this. Let's go. I did it bad again. Sometimes I forget which direction we're facing, and then I hit the wrong button. So we're just gonna pace back and forth, essentially? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Is it... at the end of this hallway? It is. Never mind. 
I gotta go put that head on that lady. So she can tell me all the awful things. Headless corpse is lying on the tabletop! Head I picked up earlier might fit on the corpse's neck. Should I try attaching the head? I guess! <laughs> I try attaching the human head. Human head fits the severed neck perfectly. The world suddenly distorts. Love it when it does that. Oh, ma'am. A horrific scene appears before my eyes. This is the woman on the operating table. Some kind of experiment is being performed on her. Must be seeing the past. The sound triggers a change in views. Men in a lab in in a lab coats, holding surgical tools, but they don't look like they're alive. The ghosts of the researchers seem to be stuck forever in the nightmare of the past. I can hear the men whisper from my left side. Hey, she's awake. Don't worry, she'll be dead soon anyway. True enough. Then something else interrupts. You. This time, it's a cold whisper from my right. You can hear me, can't you? Don't be afraid. Soon. The voice on my right cuts off, and I can hear the men in lab coats again. Can we not? Hey, woman. Which of these tools do you want us to use to cut your neck? This is it for you. So we'll let you decide. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> a chisel? Said it was a small, like, odd object, right? <laughs> Good answer. You're pretty smart. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to decaffeinate somebody with a syringe? Fortunately, you'll soon be saying goodbye to that clever head of yours. It's valuable material. We'll cut it off nicely. Shut up! You're just like a pig! This is why I hate handling women. I mean, have you considered just not, then? Have you considered just not being a bastard? <laughs> Be patient! We finally found a clue! Not yet. Wait. Now, give you power. The whisper from my right falls silent. Yeah, I never dreamed breaking from our usual method would go so well. Do you understand? Do you know the correct combination of head and body for the heavenly Buddha? Uh, woman's head, man's body? Is that what the note said? Precisely, and that's why we need your head. Gladly offer it up for the sake of our beloved country. Again, nationalism is bad, kids. Don't do it. Problem is the soul freshness. Regardless of refrigeration, it's all up to the quality of the cut. Though there are only so many available methods. This is all the equipment we have. Then to the freezer. The voices on the left cut out. A determined voice echoes in my right ear. Hate. Hate. Hate this whole world. Tear it to pieces. The power to do that. I'll give it to you all, or I'll give it all to you in the place where you hear me now. Hate them. Destroy them. Understand? <laughs> I have no options! But that's fine. We can do that. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Good. Yes, yeah, spider arms! Don't worry about it. Destroy them. When I return to my senses, I'm standing beside the operating table. We're doing a good. We're doing a good this time. Just then, something slides out of the hand of the corpse on the table. Got the key! What I just saw... No, more importantly... The voice that kept speaking from my right side. 
Who was that? <laughs> God damn it. You... You don't look so- I, How the fuck do you cockney? <laughs> you don't look so good. Is that it? Where's that? <laughs> Let me hear- What rhymes with sub? <laughs> Nub! No, I don't know. You- You don't look so good. Did you see something weird again? I feel like that sounds more like an Australian accent. I couldn't tell you what Jason Statham sounds like off the top of my head. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it's not, but thanks. <laughs> I explained to Haru what I just saw. Is uh... All right, let's, let's. <laughs> Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can Get out of here, Grammarly. This sentence is grammatically Alright, alright, alright. I think I can do that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Grammarly seems to be concerned about me a lot. Even before before the Cockney the attempt at the Cockney accent showed up. Um I explained to Haru what I just saw. A horrible tragedy happened here in the past. It's possible that whatever triggered it might have been whoever that voice belonged to. <laughs> who who cares about that? Erasing that mark is more important right now. Well, I'm not sure about that part, but... Drew's right. This isn't helping us accomplish our goal. I hate this. <laughs> we need to search for whatever gave birth to the spirit. Let's keep looking. As long as you're enjoying it. Oh, <laughs> um, that small key I just found might belong to the cabinet here. I turned my attention to the mark on my wrist. It isn't coming yet. I glance over at Hiru, but they don't seem to be acting differently at all. Death should be slowly closing in on us, but it seems we still have some time. What's important right now is making sure we survive. Mysterious human experiments, other. Um, I am gonna save. <laughs> Cause it's been a minute. All this means is that I just have to like practice voices and accents on my own time off stream. Cause that's my biggest hesitation right now is me just being like, oh God, I'm gonna embarrass myself. But what am I fucking talking about? That's what I do every stream. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I opened the door using the small key. Inside is an old gun and some research records. Suddenly, berserk, severe damage, sutra chanting, complete insanity. I know, and I, again, I thought about it. Like, when I made it, and I was like, oh yeah, I got this handled. No one's gonna ask me to do something I don't know how to do, and I assumed... I assumed y'all would be kind to me. <laughs> I assumed wrong. It's fine, and I'm fine doing it. It's just gonna take me a bit to just deal with it. I need to, though, so it's fine. Uh, only those who made themselves deaf managed managed to remain sane. Half spiritualized, like deposit or er, disposal vat, need sacred object, attack, destroy human head. The heart of all this. Need to destroy human head. That's all it says. Got gun with blanks, research notes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Again, I don't necessarily know that we want to try to destroy. Um. Can we go through that door now, though? Swap back to BFU. I guess, do we want to switch back to Banshee? I can make this work. I'm complaining, but I can make this work. It's fine. Do we want Haru or Banshee? Who do we want? Who, which friend do we want? <laughs> I'm gonna head towards the, the exit. Like, we're gonna swap, but we'll keep- we'll stay with Haru. 
<laughs> that's that's what I do. Um, but no, I would get just which which character do we want? Disregarding voices. <laughs> which which character? Do you want to stick with Hiru or Banshee? Because we love Banshee. We do love us our crazy old man. But Haru is so... No, only silence! <laughs> Our good Haru. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll stick with her. It's cool. It's fine. I did it bad again. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hitting the wrong directions. <laughs> the trap bath split in English accents? Is it interesting? Sounds like it would be interesting reading. Oh, big yawns. Oh god, why am I so tired today? Probably because I actually like got a little bit of sleep last night. Door won't open. Okay. It's locked, but the door won't open. <laughs> oh no. This e this e beastie in in real Where do they want me to go? Can we I wish I could see the whole map. <laughs> Um, can we go look at that Buddha statue? Because we got the head and then, like, immediately left, and I didn't look at anything else in that room, I think. So let's check you out. It's a Buddha statue. Headless Buddha statue is covered in dust. There's a talisman stuck to the neck as if it's taking the place of a missing head. Okay. It's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, it's bigger in box. Box is packed with carelessly tossed Buddha statue heads. Okay, so we can't get anything else out of there for now. Light bulb's covered in dust. It's obvious no one has touched it in a long time. Why is such an old bulb, bulb still working? Reasons? <laughs> um. Not spiritualized. What do we have? So I want to say that we've, like, used most of this stuff so far? Hmm. Can we go back into the room with the Buddha heads? We're just gonna forever wander around in these fucking tunnels. This is where we live now. Move over, Banshee! This is my home now! Anything cool? Yeah? No? Alright. Trap bath split is whether the A and trap and bath sound the same in a particular accent of English. Oh! Like... Trap, bath, right? Just depending on okay no I mean like I get I get what you're saying me just trying to like figure out how it would be said so they sound the same <laughs> accents are wild broad or long a 
or a short flap? A. Ah. Uh, ba. Ah. <laughs> ba. Trop. <laughs> Let me just say a bunch of words. It's fine. Um. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? <laughs> hey, game? It's like a whimsy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aunt versus aunt. Bob. Trap. <laughs> Trap just sounds so weird. Um, what's through here? Do we have anything else in here? I mean, this is the way, like, towards the direction of, like, Manhole Alley, isn't it? There are numerous footprints of the blood stain on the floor. Are these human footprints, or... No one knows, buddy. I just want to go through the, the door with the handprints. That's all. <laughs> Will not let us. Yeah, it's unlocked, but we can't get through. And I can't use anything, like, I can't interact with it. Outside of just looking at it, and that's... Frustrating. Um... No, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Eventually. <laughs> Varies and receive pronunciation. So lather and rather have a broad A, and flather, gather, and slather have a flat A. Lather, rather, flather. Okay. That make that makes more sense. That yeah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I can see the I can see the differences now with those as opposed to with. Trap and bath. <laughs> iron earned and iron earned. <laughs> earn earned and earned earned. Do we sound like that? <laughs> it's a good one. Again, accents are fucking wild. <laughs> roll, roll me. <laughs> Um, where else can we go? Can I look at the bodies some more? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Posh folks say bath. I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> it's missing not only its head, but also its limbs. Bath. <laughs> there are certain like regional accents that I, I can I'm not gonna say I can do well but I can like pick up on and kind of vaguely imitate in some in some regards um there are plenty that I just can't <laughs> it's rough I don't know I can do imitation pretty decently as far as like mimicking like sounds if I hear it then I can I can reproduce it what I understand, received pronunciation is a posh accent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. Wild! Excuse me. Oh my god, I need to stop being so tired. It's colloquial known. Colloquially. Quo collo Can't can't say it. <laughs> it's hard. Words are hard. Can I just keep looking at these bodies? <laughs> mm. 
can I look at these? No. What do we have in our bag? Research records, palm pistol, correspondence code, Kagura Suzu Bell, disposal app management record. Shakespeare accent. Really? Closer to a Boston accent than the Queen's English? Really? Okay, can we get, like, a full production of, like, A Comedy of Errors or Macbeth with everyone just speaking with a Boston accent? Please and thank you? Please and thank you. I'm sure there are, but I need, I need to see them. Immediately, like now, like right now. <laughs> like I need, I need this in my life right now. Can we go above ground? Is there anything new above ground? I don't know why there would be anything new above ground. Some ladder I can go above ground. Yeah, go. Let's go. Um. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> yeah, the street's completely deserted. We know. Can we... Mary isn't here anymore. Yeah, I know, but you have friends you can talk to! That's extremely unfortunate that I need Hero. I get. <sighs> I mean, it's fine. I guess I'm just annoyed because it's like I'm walking around everywhere and I keep saying that, like, this door is closed, right? Okay, cool, that's fine. Maybe I need to find something more. I've been everywhere. I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere. And that's really annoying because I can't even talk to anyone to get like a hint. <sighs> it's like, what does it want from me? What do you want from me? Please, just, just tell me. <sighs> I mean that's fine. I can I can do the old walk into every room nonsense again. There was a body back there that I can maybe look at again. Nope, it's already been looked at. You looked at it once, that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the person was crushed to death. Okay. Headless corpse going by what remains of its clothing. It was likely a woman. Alright. That's unhelpful. It's missing not only its head, but also all of its limbs. Can't talk to her anymore. Can't interact with that. So it's everything in this room. Body room done. Um. Oof. Is there anything I can look at in here? It's unlocked, but the door won't open. Door won't open. All right, love that for us. <laughs> well, like, we had a message earlier being like, maybe, like, maybe I haven't found everything that I need. And it's like, okay, like, that's fine. But I need a bit more of a hint than just, maybe I need something more. Because it's like, I've looked around everywhere. I've interacted with as much, or like, as... What I assume is everything. 
I'll just keep going around and like touching things. Like, double-checking everything. I can interact with, like, where the posters were, I guess. Keep checking blood stains. Um. Yeah, you're making that noise again? That's cool. <laughs> Is there anything down here? It also mentioned, like, another space that's, like, half spiritualized or whatever and it's like okay cool where <laughs> where though like the immediate assumption would be like oh we gotta like interact with that door somehow like use an item on it but it won't let me use anything so we'll just we'll pixel hunt that's what this is now I remember having an issue with, with the Mrs. Zoo chapter for the first time that I played this. I don't remember struggling this much with this particular chapter. Um, and that's a little annoying. Wait, I've gone the wrong way. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I can't, I can't use anything on the door. Like, if I could use something on it, it would pop up with, like, a, a specific menu where I could, like use a tool or something but it doesn't even offer me that so it's just me wandering around for a bit <laughs> it's fine it's fine looks like it's been a number of years yeah 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 oh like there's nothing in here <laughs> it's probably because I've missed like a single step somewhere along the way so again I'll just go through and like interact with everything again yeah <laughs> it's fine um we check those go down because I think we already explored the other hallway as well you I don't understand <laughs> why are you doing that fine it's great it's cool it's, it's what I love to do love to wander back and forth in the same hallways that all look the same I don't think so like I mean this game will like soft lock you out of specific endings but it won't like lock you out in regards to, like, you didn't do this thing in this area that you can't access anymore, so have fun! Um. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll keep wandering, see what we see. Buddha statue, headless Buddha statue was covered in dust. Alright. Thin layer of dust on it, but it looks fairly intact. Can I use this on it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... I mean, like, we could go back to, like, the very beginning of the, um, of the tunnels. Like, where we first found it. 
back during Miss Zoo's chapter, but there's nothing there. The box is still there, but I can't interact with it. There's nothing in that hallway that I can interact with. Um... So... Yeah, that's nothing new. Just telling you the street's deserted. So I could probably go back down... Or I could probably... Go back to the other alley? The north road? See if there's anything different there now? Old vending machine. Doesn't look like it's been restocked recently. Okay. <laughs> Useless. Um, got the research records. Two and three. Palm pistol. Correspondence code. Kagura Suzu Bell. Management records. Army sword. Shelter key. Small key and gun with blanks. Wait, I can sort them? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We had the lady head, but we already used that. I feel like I'm just like missing like a piece of paper or something at this point. Um, hold on. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but again, it's like I've been everywhere. In the Buddha room? Which room? <laughs> the room with the, the lady body? The room with the Buddha heads? Or the room with the headless Buddha statue? One step north and three west. It's where I've gotten gone in. That would be the south entrance, okay. Hold on. Dinner! That's a dumb map. <laughs> let me just let me just say this. Dumb map. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been in this room a ton of times. Looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. Dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. Cut by the neck is jagged. It must have been cut with some kind of tool. Can't interact with any of that anymore. I got the palm pistol in here. Light bulb is flickering weakly. It's a metal cabinet. Some of the doors are open, but most are locked tight. I've looked in here. I've looked in here. I've looked in here and I've interacted with this. Okay. 
Got a notebook titled Research Records and an Army Short Sword. Letters in the notebook have faded, but I can still read it. Experiment meticulously er, miraculously succeeded. This divine protection. Syringe gun equals palm pistol. Injecting daggers equals injecting dagger equals army sword. Good. Frustrating. Annoying. Uh the Uro statue donated from H Shrine. So, like, the Asura statue donated from H Shrine, created by Blank Line statue makers. Using Chisel, donated by same family, Sever Head. Tool together becomes the key. Finally, our dearest wish. Something else written on it. Okay, that's just giving me information that I've already, like, known. Like, I knew the Chisel information. Anyway. Projectile short sword. A chisel? Like, for sculpting? Yeah, most likely. It, impossible. How could they do something like that? That's just impossible. <laughs> Hero has made it a little better. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Can we go through this fucking door? <laughs> Does it work? Does it satisfy? That's all that matters to me. <laughs> Oof. It's fine. We got this. Everything's okay. Can I go through the fucking door now? Put my hand on the knob again and turn it. When I do, it turns smoothly with no resistance. Inside the room are a number of Buddha statues. They're all missing their heads. It seems this is where they stored all the various statues they gathered through theft or donations. It feels like something's here. M maybe this is where the heart of the curse or the source of the spirit is? I brace myself for in uh, input from the other me. But it doesn't seem like that's happening. Does that mean I should already know? It's a statue that looks like a divine general. It is armor from the Tang Dynasty. Statue with its head cut off, it looks like a it held a weapon in its left hand. It's a statue that looks like a Vidyaraja or something. It's missing one of its arms as well as its head. That one's got blood on him. Spooky. It's a v Vajravana statue. Its head is missing. I don't know what these mean. The statue with its head cut off, it seems to be holding some kind of Buddhist ritual implement. It's a statue that seems to be a divine general, its head has been severed. It's a statue with its head cut off, it's lying pitifully on the floor. I search all the statues, every statue here has a male body. Suddenly, there's the sound of movement from within the box. I- nope, it will not happen! <laughs> Suddenly- oh yeah, the movement within the box. I don't want to look! Can we not? How about we don't? It's coated with a thin layer of dust, but it seems to be in decent enough shape. Managed to open the box, I should have saved. Sheets of white paper are inside. They seem to be a multitude of talismans. Is something sealed here? Hero peers into the box beside me. So? Was something in there? Well... Uh... My voice sounds distant. The cause of the curse will birth the spirit. There's nothing like that here. No. There's nothing here. What? What do you mean? Well, what's that in your hand? Hero's right. It's not true that there's nothing inside. 
There is one thing. Never would have expected something like this. Something that doesn't belong here. A box sealed by talismans has en or has enshrined a western style cushion. Through sighs, disappointed. Guess we're out luck. No way this thing gave birth to a spirit. True. But the state of this room and the voices. It's a western style pillow, Allie. Not a throw pillow. <laughs> Something important was definitely sealed up in this place at one point. Yet there's nothing here. Okay. Then the thing we're searching for... Where the hell did it go? A long silence falls between us. Is it then that a now familiar pain flares up? The mark burns scarlet! It immediately is dyed a deep crimson. Death is only a few minutes away. Ugh! What's going on? Is death closing in on us all of a sudden? No, it's... The spirit is here. Can I save? I guess I cannot! <laughs> well, fuck! Um, here's hoping we don't screw this up! A low sutra chant hum trembles, in, uh, trembles the air. Feels like my whole body is numb. It may be because of that hum. Um, so I want to shoot the gun with the blanks? Kosh loses consciousness. Kosh shoots the gun with blanks. I grab the gun, but I can't control my hand. It turns the gun toward my head and fires. The blank explodes. My consciousness fades. There's a strong ringing in my ears, and it's preventing me from hearing the sutra chant. Guru is clutching their head like they can't hear anything either. The numbness has faded. Hero shakes the Kagura Suzu bell. Nothing happens. Cannon soldiers, or soldiers yells, making my heart clench. Guru was injured. Kost was injured. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, forget what we're missing and take stock of what we have. If we want to use the saber or short, sword sword, we'll have to throw them. If the spirit is nebulous like that spirit door, then the Kagura Suzu Bell will be helpful, and the blanks will mess up our ears if we shoot them, but one document mentioned must destroy head. I'm not sure what this... Or, I'm not sure about this at all, but I can't give up if I want to live. <sighs> Excuse me. Thanks. <laughs> so... Spirit fades and becomes intangible. Oh, they weren't spider. They weren't spider arms. They were just many wooden arms. Parker, Susabelle, and then gun with blanks, maybe. Spirit turns solid again. Uh, the bells fly into the air. I get the feeling that we're not using it right. Gross! Spirit 
Spirit phase becomes intangible. We did it bad. It is a good monster. They did a good they did a good monster design. Um vision darkens, I can see the spirit slowly drawing closer, blah 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 blah. We did it very bad. We did it extremely bad. We can give it one more try before we end stream. I mean, of all the monsters we faced, it's not the worst as far as appearance is concerned. I don't get why it told me that I was using the bells incorrectly, because it said when it, if it becomes nebulous like the door, then I need to use the bells to, to you know, bring it back, right? Um... So hold on. Um... Half spiritualized mystical forces need sacred object to erase. to destroy the human head. I don't know that that's the right move, though. <laughs> um. Chisel sever head. Hmm. Uh, we find documents in a Kagura Suzu Bell in the cabinet. The file says something odd. Spiritualize the door. Release the sacred object. Kagura Suzu Bell is probably considered one. We also learn the safety valve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm just trying to, like, grab any information I can from any of this. It details something called the Heavenly Buddhist Project. Okay. Soldier went berserk and killed people. No, I mean, okay. <laughs> Hopefully I've got every item. It's mostly just a matter of like figuring out what they all, all do. Um, I wish I had some shoe dirt. It would make everything so much better. Um, only that some person with spiritual power used something to do something. Okay, so then do I use the bells at the end when it gets real close? We'll use that. And we'll do that. Yeah, 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 that's all the same so far. There's a strong ring in my ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nemesis faded. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but also, shooter. Shooter's imper imp important. Shooter is important. Um. <laughs> it's true. He wouldn't pick it up because he's a coward.
Sword sails through the spirit and clatters uselessly on the ground. Yeah, I know we're injured. It's not great. Is it because it's all nebulous? I don't know. Cross is injured, hero's injured. Alright, show me your gross, gross face, girl! Try that, I guess. Nothing happens. The Kagura Suzu belt flies into the air. Get the feeling that we're not using it right. <laughs> We're just gonna stab it in the face. I would. I mean, it's six o'clock. We're technically done. We're... I'm gonna get through this. If I can't do it in this turn, then we'll save it for tomorrow. But like, I guess I'm just supposed to like stab it. It's true. Throwing shooter would have like resolved a lot of this. <laughs> um, so done with blanks. Suzu Bell, I guess. Use lipstick on it. <laughs> Classic move. <laughs> Gonna go all see through y. know if this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna wait until it gets really close and I'm gonna shoot it in the fucking head. Because <laughs> what, like, what else am I supposed to to do? Maybe I need to use it. Wait, no! Lady's gotta use it, right? Hiru has to use it. I vaguely remember that. Well, I'm dead now, so like... It's just... Okay, no, I understand. Yeah, no, okay, I vaguely understand. <laughs> I guess I just don't know what to do for the last, for the last attack. Um. <laughs> Arcade, how could you tease us this way? No death mark, no bees? It's the bees I'm mostly disappointed about. Welcome back though. <laughs> it's, it's been something. Okay, so we'll just keep doing this, I guess? <laughs> Nothing happens. Oof. We just... It's true. It just it was it was all over the place. I am emotionally exhausted at this point. <laughs> um and with blanks and the Suzu Bell again? Wasn't effective. I don't Do I just do it again? I mean, it's definitely not doing great, but I also don't like... Do 
I have to, like, because I, I know I'm trying to, like, desperately avoid destroying these spirits, right? At this point, I don't give a shit. Hero's gonna be the one who dies if we fuck it up. And honestly, good riddance. <laughs> so I guess I'll just keep shaking the bells and then have... And then just let Vincenzo attack, right? Hero is not everyone's favorite. Not my favorite. Sorry to inform you. Even before the the, the Cockney accent came into play. Not my favorite. Um Alright, so Suzubel Range Sword? Hero shoots a range sword. No, I did it bad! Fucking hell! Yeah, it's... <sighs> can I just... Can I just restart? Right, I can change their order. That's... That's what kept throwing me off, is because I'm like, I need to have the bell first so that we can attack it. So it doesn't matter. We're just, we've done it bad. It doesn't matter. We've done it all very bad. I'm gonna get this right. We're gonna sit through this and we're gonna get it fucking right. <laughs> we're going over time. I hope you're ready. I hope we're ready. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not annoyed. <laughs> not 24 hours. Basically just until I can beat this fucking monster. That's all. I just want to beat this monster. You know what? I wish they had thought about just not getting a death mark. It would have made their life, my life, all of our lives so much easier. Have they considered just not? Um. <laughs> okay, so we'll do this first. Because we need to have the blank first, right? And you can shake that and do whatever. Alright, so then first off... Hiru. And then... Is this... Hold on a second. Short range. So I need to do that last? says ranged, right? Okay. Also, if it could stop screaming, that would be fucking fantastic. Why are you getting so close? No, no. I almost did it bad. <laughs> it's a good thing I stopped to look. Um. Spirit turns solid again. Spirit fades becomes intangible. Oh, everyone's so hurt. Hey, don't do that with your face. Suzu, er... You got red on you. Uh... Okay. Spirit turns solid again. Spirit fades and becomes intangible.
I don't know what it wants from me. I don't, I don't know what it wants. Right? It looked hopeful. We were doing lots of damage. I think I need to... I think I need to save the, um... The palm pistol until the very end. But yeah, I don't know. So I guess we'll gun with blanks and the Suzu Bell. <laughs> right? I don't have very many items that I can work with here. <laughs> and just enough of them are o like one use only. <laughs> Which is extremely unfortunate. So let's Suzu Bell. <sighs> well, I'll try one more time and see if it works. Can we? Just like, am I in, am I going in the right direction? Is this? <laughs> we do that? No, fucking hell! <sighs> Doesn't matter. I fucked it up. gotten many a hug from me and it's still angry. So Mary, so <laughs> Mary would just hug it out. Yeah, it's okay. So in my defense, I I know that I need to fucking use the bell with what's her fuck. <laughs> but because it always starts on Vincenzo, I'm just like, hmm. I wish there was a way to just like Tell it that no, this this item stays with this person. Yeah, let's not give love a chance this time. This one time, can we not? So I guess can you can you confirm that the the <laughs> the palm pistol is what I need to use as a final item? You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> oh, what is this? The cannon soldier? Okay, that just tells me what it is. I don't want that. Yeah, I'll just look it up. It's fine. <laughs> We got... Hold on a second. That's not what I need either. Oh my god, it's putting me all the way at the beginning of the chapter. That's unhelpful. Large chisel. <laughs> I found one that actually uses vaguely real words. <laughs> okay, let's blank and bell. Um... Oh, 
Oh, I say vaguely, vaguely real words. <laughs> it's dumb. The whole thing is dumb. Uh, bells. Does it? I guess, I guess, I guess so. It might be, hold on. I don't want that, okay. So I guess let's, Is portable syringe gun supposed to be like the palm pistol? <laughs> it's so dumb. So dumb. <laughs> getting an English translation here. Like a proper one. <laughs> I am not, I'm not doing that. Well, maybe I might. It's like, go back and rewatch these videos. I'll write it all down. <laughs> Be like, all right, here's a proper, like, for the English port. Here you go. This is how you do. <laughs> it's an understandable phase. Rusted army sword, and I guess we'll just give her the bells for whatever reason. Spirit stops! Guess the attack finally worked. That sounds delicious. I don't know where footsteps approach behind me! Who the fuck is screaming? voice yells comically and whoever it is puts their hand on my back but I can't take my eyes off of the spirit before me right it's yeah proprietary proprietary as fuck banshee is that you what are you doing he's being a cowboy instead of replying he shoves something into my hand it's a large chisel with a grip stained in blood but this is ah found it in that room in the mansion in that instant i understood everything the heart of the curse that we were searching for the object that gave birth to the spirits so it was kept in kujo mansion thanks i'm gonna use it I'll grab the chisel and face the spirits they're weakened we sure don't do the right <laughs> I can't do cowboy. I can quote that cowboy vine. That's about it. Right? The spirit was like, ah, oh, shit, y'all are talking about something super important? I'll give you a minute. <laughs> I mean, it's been happening nonstop. Not the clipping, but it's there. The accent is there. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll hear it a bit more. Um... All right, so large chisel, give you them bells. Right here? Do you have the chisel at its right here? Cause the spirit earlier said like, this is where I will be. Or whatever, and it was always in our right ear, right? Stares at me dispassionately. Come here! Did you hear me getting annoyed? Yeah? Okay. Well, you can sit up here with me then. Yeah. 
Finally, it smiles and disappears. No, don't step on the controller. Hi, Bean. Oh, so happy. She got them happy paws right now. I don't know if you can see them. Look at them go! Look at her go! Thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry, I just gotta, like, look at how pleased she is! Thanks! Can you not? Statue stops moving and collapses. It stopped, right? Hi. Seems so. I don't got the mark anymore, so there's no doubt about it. Once again, I'm the only one still cursed. Glad I made it in the nick of time. If my legs weren't in such good shape, it would have been over for us. Thanks for saving us, but you know that was pretty reckless. Thought I said it was dangerous for a group of mark bearers to go somewhere haunted. I, <laughs> I'm glad you're loving it, Abby. <laughs> oh yeah, you did mention something like that when I was eating. Completely slipped my mind. Tell us, old man. What happened at the mansion? I'm not quite sure myself. Hi. But I'll tell you what I know. Can I set you down? I'm gonna set you down. You purry bean! You're so happy. Plop. <laughs> she is demanding affection. She'll get some after stream. We're almost done. After you left, I wandered the place looking for something to eat. My mark hurt like hell right by our room. <laughs> it's just, he is just hair. That's all he is. I slipped inside and found a bunch of chisels and things. <laughs> He's for me. Oh no! He must mean that room I found. I was kind of out of. Or I was kind of out of it because of the mark at that point. But I noticed one of the chisels was glowing all weird with a dark light. I knew right away that it was hiding some awesome spiritual power. I don't know how to do a Furby voice. I'm sure voice mod has something that could that could work with it. But what made you decide that you had to bring a chisel here? You seem sure it'd be effective against the cannon soldier. I heard a voice when I picked it up. It reminded me of a lady, sorta. It said to bring the chisel to you. And that's when it hit me. It was what I'd been looking for. Oh, the thing you mentioned in the car. The heart of the curse that created the spirit. <laughs> exactly that. So I hoofed it over to give it to you. For me, voice is just high pitched and full of murderous intent. I could manage that. When I looked through the room before, Yusoka said that the Kujo uh, family used to create Buddha statues a long time ago. It's possible that Chisel was used to create the statue that became the Cannon Soldier. I don't know what that voice was that he heard. Probably something like the mysterious voice that guided me here. Or guided me before, excuse me. You know, I haven't heard it in a while. And that's what happened. So, we heading back to the mansion then, Cost? For one, I'm hungry. But I bet Damon's worried too. I left without saying a word after all. Yeah. Searching for documents on the mark, carting all the statues out. It'll take more than a day to do all that. We should go back to the mansion and figure out what to do next. What? Well, we're leaving already? I wanted to examine this place. Glance at the statue fall to the floor. Sorry, but you'll have to do that another time. Dots. Fine. In exchange, not one word about this shelter to anyone else. I'm going to study every inch of it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey now, this is my home! Can't have you rooting around here! That's just what you say, or uh, that's just you saying that. You don't legally live here. I'll bring you food, stop complaining. Much obliged. 
<laughs> we return to the concrete passageway. I might be imagining it, but it feels like the air in here is a little less stagnant than it was before. Can we just get back to the mansion so we can so we can call it quits? <laughs> Climb up out of the manhole in Mno South Alley. Damon runs up to us, drenched in sweat. He looks even worse than usual. He probably shouldn't have run. <laughs> I found you. Hey, old man. Why did you suddenly spurn out of the mansion? My mark is gone now, too. What in the world happened? I had something to give cost. Isn't that right, Hiru? I guess. I'd rather not think of the consequences if you hadn't made it in time. Not sure I follow, but it seems he really helped you out. Well then. If I must do my investigation another day, are we splitting ways here? Our mark's gone now. Cost still has his, though. This always happens. I'm used to it. But now I might be able to change that. I finally discovered where the statues stolen from H. Shrine are. I'm lost. But I'm glad for it. Thanks to all of you. I'll figure the rest out by myself. You should all return to your regular lives. You're saying we should split up then? Uh, you sure you'll be okay? Something will work out eventually. Besides, this is Sayakujo's dying wish. I want to respect that. Huh. Well, thanks. I'll head back then. I've been missing all those chemical smells from the lab. Good to hear your research is exciting. But don't forsake your humanity over it and end up like Miss Zoo. Like I do that? It's not even funny, by the way. Oh yeah, Mr. Cost? Whenever you want to get those statues, I'll help you out. Until then, see ya. Bye! <laughs> I'll be off as well. Honestly, all this has all this has put a strain on me. <laughs> don't do it, Arcade! It's a bad deal! <laughs> Barely staying upright. <laughs> ostrich legs. You had me at the ostrich legs, honestly. Whatever you do, don't collapse on your way home. Please. Hey, cost. One day, I'm hoping to let the public know about the underground shelter. For the sake of the wandering souls without a proper burial. Ostrich strong. I'd like it if you helped with it. See you around. Bye! Guess I'll go, too. You're not returning to the shelter, are you? I'm not that brave. Soldier's gone, but there's plenty of other things down there. I'll give it a few days to settle. So you're still planning on going back? I'm not sure I'd call that a smart move. Comes with living this kind of life. I'll bunker down in a park or under a bridge until things calm down. See you, cost. Bring more food next time, yeah? Okay. Bye. Four more mark bearers have all left. I should probably head to the mansion myself. I've got to decide what to do next. Excuse me? I hear a voice calling from behind me. I turn to see Banshee in the middle of the road staring intently at me. There's no running off into the sunset for him. What's wrong? Ah, remember now. His eyes are as wide as saucers. I forgot because of the mark, but I, I've met you before. What? What do you mean? Oh, uh, well, let me think. He scratches his chin. I know his memories are probably all a mess having just gotten them back. I don't have time to wait for him. Ah, uh, yes. First, or we first met five years ago. And then again, ten days ago. I feel like I've been struck by lightning. He's the secret of the first job before. Absolutely. I first arrived at Cujo Mansion ten days ago. Hi! That means I met him before I lost my memories. I need to know, who in the world am I? Ah, I, I couldn't say. I wasn't interested in asking your name and you didn't give it. Then tell me, what do you know? Tell me about myself, please. Okay. I owe you for the food, so ask. 
should I ask about? Five years ago. You showed up at the shelter. Wanted to know about the Heavenly Buddha Project. Gave me food. <laughs> Actually, you're more focused on the Cujo family than the cannon soldier. Why did we talk about them? The head at the time was majorly involved in the project. He was famous for his spiritual power, so the army asked him to help. He loaned them a number of his family's prized secret treasures. He really zeroed in on that bit. Do you know what exactly the army got? Yeah, Shelter had a list. A mirror, chisel, Buddha statues, cursed objects, and holy talismans. They were all returned to the family. Which means they're all in the mansion now. Kept popping by a few times until one day you just didn't. I only saw you next ten days ago. Next is... I'd just seen the cannon soldier and you can bet I booked it out of the manhole. I ran into you on the street. How'd you treat me to food to celebrate? Thanks for that, by the way. Banshee's talking about the person I was before I lost my memories. It's weird to hear about myself this way. You'd mentioned you'd been overseas. You'd only come back recently, about a month ago. Oh, and that's when I learned of the mark. You told me about it. it. Slipped my mind until just now. By that time, was my right arm... Yeah, it had the mark. You were acting all odd, though. Go to remember something, then stumble over the words. The curse was probably in the late stages. In fact, I'd completely forgot my name and... Uh, passed a few hours after that. By the by, I got something to tell you. This here Banshee Ito is much nobler character than regular folk. That's why I led a detached life away from the world's vulgarities. What are you trying to say? I could be crazy desperate, but I'd never shame my dear departed mom or divine providence. You understand? No, you lost me. I'm saying, I'd never resort to stealing, even dying of hunger. Here, these are yours. Pulls out a wristwatch and a wallet. Each looks like an antique. They're inlaid with subtle designs. Forgot them at the restaurant. Let me see them. I grabbed them both and rushed to open the wallet. But there's no ID inside. There was no driver's license or company card with an ID in it when you got it? Don't ask me. You said you forgot your old wallet somewhere and lost it. It's probably in there. Oh. We've been driving without a license this whole time? That's why he's going under the speed limit. And look at what else is in the wallet. Bills, coins, and a number of familiar business cards. Sayakujo Spirit Healer. Ah, oh, those things. He tried to give me one. He told me to go there if I remembered anything. But I gave it back. I won't make a habit of carrying useless stuff. Saya Kujo's card was in my pocket when I first arrived at Kujo Mansion. It must have been the one Banshee returned. There's no doubt about it. I lost all my, em uh, all my memories after I met Banshee. Hi. Lami is getting pissy. Can't trust suspicion to yourself if you go 15 under the limit. That's everything I want to know, but something's still bugging me. Did I say anything about the mark when you saw me 10 days ago? Hmm. Well, I was so focused on eating that I wasn't paying full attention. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, you said the same thing as Hiru about the cannon soldier. There's no way a human head on a statue will make it move. But it did actually move. That's what I thought, too. And then, he said something strange. He said what happened 50 years ago wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. Her? That's not all. This voice is getting exhausting, by the way. You said she gave you the mark. That she loved watching you lose your memories and fear death. You made her kick the bucket once. I'm not gonna stop. I'm committed to the bit now. But she came back to life. You said you needed to do the same thing done 50 years ago to get rid of her. <laughs> my heart wants to beat out of my chest. I can feel sweat run down my face. 
There's no way I can keep calm. Before I lost my memories, I'd know who or I'd known who'd cursed me with the mark. Hey, old man. Who's she? Did I tell you? I wanted to know too, so I asked. But you couldn't answer me. I don't think you were trying to hide it. You just honestly didn't remember. Was that because of the mark? Well, that's about all I can tell you. Cos, we should get going soon. Go? Where? I'll tell you in the car. I'm real tired of standing. I'd like to sit for a bit. There's no point in arguing here. I'll just get it out of him once we're in the car. Can I save now? <gasps> Fantastic. All right. Well, this is a great place to stop now. <laughs> we can stop here now. We can stop now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I'd believe it. Have you seen the van that they're driving? It's haunted. Haunted van. <laughs> All right. Well, we got through we got through the cannon soldier. Thank God. We might actually depending on how tomorrow goes, we might we might finish this this weekend. Imagine that. Um but like, uh, like I said earlier in stream, I'm gonna rework the schedule a little bit. Not change like actual times or anything, um, but just like when we're playing uh, specific games. Um, as soon as we're done with Deathmark, uh, Bloodborne will turn into a weekend game, uh, just because it's gonna go on for a little uh, a while. It's gonna go on for a while. Um, <laughs> but I've got a couple of other games that I want to play like during the weekdays. So we'll do that, um, and I'll let you know. Hopefully, sometime this week, we will get to the cosplay stream. Uh, like I said, the only thing that's holding me back at the moment is just waiting on getting some hair dye. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to pick some up either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, so I guess we'll shoot for Wednesday or Friday? I'll let everyone know for a fact once I have like an actual set day for that. Um, and we'll play some Cemetery Mary then. That's very exciting. I'm excited about it. Uh, but until then, let's go. <gasps> Nogi is streaming. Let's go hang out with Nogi. I haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you everyone for hanging out, being here, being cool people. Um, this was fun. I've missed, I have, as much as I complain about Deathmark sometimes, I have missed playing it with you guys. <laughs> so I'm happy that we're here. Um, yeah, we will let y'all know what's going on next time. Uh, go spread the love over to Nagi. Tell him, tell him that you love him, that it's great. Everything's fantastic when they're around. Uh, yeah, we'll take care. We'll be back tomorrow with more Deathmark at 6 p.m. Central. Uh, and until then, we'll see y'all later.